Wubby wubby chat. Woo. Wubby wubby woo. Today. Wubby wubby woo. Chat, I need. We're, you're gonna. Chat, I need you today. I need you to help me. Okay. I'm being stalked. By the, they follow me everywhere. The postman follows me. When I go on the street, people drive by and I see them. I see people look at me. They know. They know who I am. They're coming for me. Now, imagine if I just go offline, you never hear from me again. No. Tonight, chat, is positivity night. I hereby declare tonight positivity night. So what does that mean? I'm going to be going on a, few, a couple of rants. We have content I need to get to, so you guys are going to keep me on track. Okay? But more importantly, <clears throat> more importantly, I am not going to get lost in the saw. Oh. I am not going to get lost in the sauce and we are ever, we're going to be, everyone's going to keep me positive. So if at any point I start to get negative, the keyword, the key phrase is you gifting subs. Thank you, health and shelter. The key phrase, and you guys are going to, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not, it's not copium. It's not copium. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. Good night tonight. Very, I'm not going to piss off everybody. Okay. It's going to be a good night, okay? Press the button. PP sounds new. If you read this, you are. Slicker, <clears throat> Slicker, the dude who like scammed everyone and then just like disappeared. I bought him Taco Bell <clears throat> because I felt bad. That motherfucker, he probably gambled it away too. Why? We're at the, we're at the Amaranth's thing. We're all on this bus, and everyone there was everyone was talking about Taco Bell, and he goes, "Please, man, please, please." I'm like, yeah, I'll buy you Taco Bell. He probably wagered the Doritos Locos Tacos, bro. Man, never be nice, chat. Never, just be a piece of shit. Sub speaks to D Trevor underscore Trevor underscore Trevor. You guys are supposed to keep me positive. What happened? It's I already failed.
that. Love you, green man. Lobby seven less than three. Dennis is a bastard man. Love the new merch. I'm already smiling, smiling. Bro, this is a new playlist. And it kind of... Kind of makes me want to... You know? Kind of feel it in here, you know? Don't do the rat! Oh, she got there! She got the hell no. Okay, for real. All right, I'm there. I'm positively loving it here. Whoa, oh, 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 maybe, baby. Yes, please. 31 months, I love you. From the tilde. Let's go. Sounds like your kid is in word heater. Pie in chat donated twenty dollars to play that song. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the joke is. I don't understand it. I I don't know. And, and then they said this one's for all the parents out there. And then everyone in chat went, "Huh?" Uh, Mr. Zeus, ten dollars. He donated this. Please Let's just Google watch this. slang name for a mig fifteen inches. Whoa, I'm. But I want to be a hater ass bitch so bad, dude. Can I be a hater ass bitch, please, bro? Please, can I be a hater ass bitch, bro? I've I don't think I've liked anything Young Gravy has put out. <clears throat> I, 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 I I'm 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 just so not, and I'm not even like. And notice how I didn't say he was bad. I'm keeping it me and my feelings, not a, a, a thing about him. I personally haven't liked anything he's put out, dude. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm t I feel like I have to fake it. Chat turns on a dime, bro. Do they ever? Welcome to stream. I don't know. Wubby has an opinion about media. Watch out. Oh, you better tune out of this stream because I got a lot to say. It's this like is damn. okay. few of his songs 20 months whatever all right hold on let's start streaming you guys ready here we go my dude love you thank you love you hold on fuck where's my music where's my music all i have Bud is this purple suckers. monkey thing all right hello everybody welcome to sunday w take whatever barbie movie this? review i saw the barbie movie last night oh I, can i be honest chat I, you know this stream used to be fun this stream used to be fun but um you know now it's like what do i what can i say anymore yes. you know it's just and you know i had this moment during the barbie movie i i'll be honest One i had this moment during the barbie movie where i went am i just am i just it, 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 am, am i am i at the age now 
where I officially am too old to change because I, I have opinions on the Barbie movie that I'm not seeing. Um, how do I word this? In our, so our group, we went and saw it in the group. The group was split. About half of the group feels similarly to me. About half the group totally didn't understand. And I was like, okay, let's go online. I couldn't really find that online. Most people are like, Barbie movie was fucking banging. We'll talk about it in a minute. We'll talk about it in a minute. So what you're saying is Ben Shapiro is right. Well, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I have purposefully avoided the Ben Shapiro review out of fear out of fear that I will agree with him. I don't like Ben Shapiro. I don't like almost anything he says. I find him to be annoying. And like, anytime he crosses my desk, it's usually for some funny, stupid thing he's doing, some prudish nonsense, whatever, right? But I'm nervous because I have opinions on the Barbie movie. And the only opinions negative that I've heard of the Barbie movie have been from Ben Shapiro. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like Ben Shapiro, this is what I hate. I'm going to give opinions tonight and people are going to say, oh, so this, this white conservative guy, bro, these people would hate me. The people that you camp me with would fucking hate me. Oh my God. They would hate me. I do not share opinions with these people. They would hate me. Agree, Wubby. His sister, though. <laughs> Please post Abby on the subreddit. Stop! Stop! Okay, Wubby, you're left as fuck. I know, but I... Guys, I have... A, listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the merch drama, of course. But I'm going to be very polite. It's a positivity stream. Okay? Then we're going to talk about... I'm going to give you... Everybody loves it. My reviews. I'm going to give you a Barbie review. And this one is going to be hard for me to not scream a bunch because I'm not a well-adjusted adult. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm struck merch. Yeah, there's merch drama on the subreddit. Sort of. We're going to handle it all positively. And then after that, I'm going to let chat decide if they'd rather do 90 Day Fiance or we can do Pikmin. It's up to you guys. Uh, but this Wednesday is the, uh, 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 what is it called? The film contest, you still have time. I'm assuming if I were entering this film contest, I'm assuming you want to submit your video as late as possible. So you have as much time to work. We've gotten a few submissions so far, but I'm nervous. If you only took two days to make a film where the grand prize is $3,000, if you took two of the seven days, I feel like you're not doing it right. So uh, you're filming tomorrow. Good, good. Guys, this is free money. A lot of people are convinced a lot of people won't submit. That should be your cue to go submit. That should be your cue to go submit. All right. So does the short film contest end tomorrow at midnight? It ends. So wake up. It's Tuesday. You're awake on Tuesday. When the clock strikes midnight and rolls over to Wednesday, we've cut it off. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it any other way. So the cutoff is you wake up Tuesday when the clock strikes midnight and it's now Wednesday. That's it. No, that's wrong. It's ruse that. Pino, what the fuck did you just say? My time zone. My time zone. The goaded time zone. My time zone. Sorry, PST. PST. We moved it forward a full day. Whoa, Pino, you want to fucking tell me that? I'm going to... Pino couldn't even finish his plate last night. Pino couldn't finish his plate because he's a little baby man. Pino had... Pino ordered Ganuki or whatever it's called, and he couldn't fucking finish it. He couldn't even fucking finish it last night. He took so much of it home, and it looked like he ate none of it. Big idiot. All, every woman at the table finished her plate. Maybe Barbie was right. He said, I told you. He did tell me. It's on me. Um, I'm following you everywhere. It's thank me. you, brother. I love yep, you. Yep, thank yep. you. Positivity. Fuck, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Wait, this is positive stream. Positive Nero. A lot of subs Hello. came in earlier. Let me thank those guys. I'm actually really excited to talk to you tonight. Oh my God, Please don't ruin this for me. This is my big moment today. Nick when the clock's, the clock turns to Tuesday's the deadline. Mm, I don't agree with that, boys. Don't listen to Peanut. Boys, don't listen to Peanut. If you submit months, Tuesday night, I'm the greatest I got you. You're cool with me, okay? You're cool. Here. Don't listen to Peanut. I'm serious. Listen, we're at odds right now, Chuck. but just trust me when you he's saying no. Sense. Just, just, just listen. More just trust me. PLA. Peanut, you're, you could be potentially cutting out seven. the best videos. So I'm going to say no. Love you we're not, you're not losing. No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. 
Purple Tide, I think for the five. Yoko Ono, thank you for the five. Princess, Princess. Again. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for the five. Matt, Robots thank nice. you. Lovel Elf, thank you. Okay, positive stream. Yes, merch is still available. Day. It's available for a two week pre order. Yes, you. that's still going on. I love you too. Um, spaghetti drink. Are we gaming tonight? Maybe. Spaghetti drink. Spaghetti drink. Oh my god, I just remember the paper plates thing. Man, you guys can't let me have a single thing. Halo? Nah. Nah. All right, I might grab the shorts. You should. So first, let's talk about the merch. Let's talk about what happened on the subreddit. You know, for the most part, so I woke up uh, and I started looking at the subreddit. I was just browsing, just chilling, morning routine, a little bit of TikTok, a little bit of booty shaking, a little bit of subreddit. I was vibing. And I see the top of the subreddit. Not really drama, let's be real. Walsh, do not underestimate my ability to make drama out of nothing. Okay, maybe just shut up. All right, let's, you and I are beefing now. So, uh, uh, not a yap, not a, there is no yap. I'm just talking. So the subreddit had some opinions and you know, I, I, listen. Okay, so I tell Alex, I say, hey Alex, listen, whatever you do, don't check the subreddit. However, there's some people, there's some very opinionated people on the subreddit sharing their opinions. And I'm like, most of it, most of it is fair and constructive. Some of it isn't. And I'm like, don't worry about the some of it. I'm, I'm like, I'm collecting important information that we can use for our next merch launch. For that being said, before we, we, we go any further, uh, I wrestled if I should even say this, but I'm just going to say it because I think it is somewhat important. For the record, for those keeping track, this merch line has been by far the most successful we've ever launched. And I mean by far. It's not even close. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to say that because I don't want people to be like, fuck you, that's right, ha ha, yeah. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is hardworking people do know what they're doing, even if it doesn't align with what you would wear. And I'm okay with that because what we're doing is working. We, now, that doesn't mean we did everything right, we actually learned a couple things that we're taking into the next line, and I'll tell you about it when it comes out. I don't want to reveal anything, but long story short, it's selling the best. So at the end of the day, getting too caught up in the weeds of the subreddit is a waste of our time because it's selling the best. That's just reality, right? Even the people who hate the line, you have to acknowledge that. That is reality. Reality is it's selling the best. So. Keep that in mind for the rest of this conversation while I absolutely nuke some people. For, no, I'm kidding. I'm going to be very nice. Positivity stream. You have more followers now? Okay, the problem with what you're saying, though, is this... See, don't make me don't make me explain how the sausage is made. It's more than my growth in followers improvement. More people are buying merch per people watching than before. I mean, do we really want to get into it? Do you want to pull... Do you want to get into stats? Random dude in my chat? I'm sure you, I mean, it'll be probably a really insightful conversation between me and, and what was your name? Let's do it. Let's see the numbers. No. Um, so here's the thing. Here's what I, here. Okay. So Alex then immediately, I tell her not to look at the subreddit. Five minutes go by. She goes, I read every comment. She was mad. She was livid. She was pissed off. I understand. It's hard. You know, you, I, I think the person who like designed and worked on every aspect of the merch is probably the worst person to be reading Reddit comments. You know, I get that. I totally get that. She has a right to be mad. I'm not going to take that from her. I want to bring up a couple things people said because I don't want people to think that con constructive criticism is not welcome, but I'd like to show you what were a couple things. I was like, man, and I don't understand this. This is what I don't understand. And I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is going somewhere very good. Just wait. This is all leading up to something very worth it. Just stay with me. Take my hand. There's a world I need to know. Just trust me. When is media share? That's in a week. Bozo. Okay, so um, one of the biggest criticisms I saw that I'll, I'll point out, uh, and people are saying one guide. Fair to an extent, although this is the top of my subreddit. I don't know. When there's a top comment of the top post of my subreddit, it's no longer one guide. It's like, this is how my Reddit feels, right? This is the Reddit community telling me this. Um, oh, God, Alex is in chat. Okay, so... Uh, um, Here's here. This is kind of the general vibe. Yeah, upvotes are not one guy. Exactly. 800 upvotes on a post is not getting one guy. That's enough to make me go, okay, what, let me look into this, right? So 
Here's what I don't understand. Here's what I'm, I struggle with. I like the design. I get why Wubby likes it for the brand. Thank you. And it fits. Thank you. This guy's very nice. I'm not mad at this person. Okay. Uh, it's done super well, but rocking kitten anime ludes without context is cringe in most places. This is what I don't understand. And this is a sentiment I'm seeing in that thread. I, I don't agree. I don't agree with the summary of the line. And I don't agree with it's not it's super cringe in most places. I don't agree. Maybe you are associating with people who would find that cringe, but I, I don't. I, I don't associate with people that find that cringe. If I wore this, I mean, okay, here's where I can't wear my merch, but I feel like this applies to YouTuber merch in general. I wouldn't wear YouTuber merch to work. I wouldn't wear it to a high-end restaurant. I wouldn't wear it to my mother's funeral, right? But that applies to like YouTuber merch. We're talking about a Twitch streamer who, by the way, is so on the outskirts of what's accepted that like most brands won't work with me. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it, 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 yeah. I, I, and, and then the other thing that the, there's two major points I want to address, cringe and lewd. I am almost disappointed in my audience. People in my audience think the merch is lewd. Some of y'all have become soft. I'm tempted to legit gate my whole asshole because some of you have become a little too soft for me. Now, I know what you're saying, Wubby, it's an opinion. That's totally fair. In your opinion, it can be lewd, but I need those people to hear this. Boys, if you think that's lewd, what did you think of the cup? Did you, oh, this guy, Wubby, released a pornographic cup. It raped me. Like, still lewd? I, I'm, I, I just... I just don't agree. It's almost kind of prudish to be like, this is too lewd to wear. I, it's, I, I'm shocked. We partnered with an animal shelter. An animal shelter was like, this is, we, when we showed her the design, she was like, oh my God, these are adorable. They, they're so cute. Oh my God. I just, is it too lewd for work? Well, yeah, but it's YouTuber merch. Is it too lewd for a nice restaurant? Well, yeah, it's YouTuber merch. But is it lewd? No, I, 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 if a child saw this, I would not be ashamed. I would not be like, quick, give me your coat. I need to cover my, my merch design. This is not appropriate for children. I just, it's a strange argument to make. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's, here's another one that I just, I just, I'm like, man, I don't, it's okay that this is you, but this isn't me and that's okay. Best supplier, worst designs, even though the overall cat concept is cool. Thank you. I'm glad you can appreciate the adoption stuff. That was a big deal for us. I'm here. Okay. I'm a professional in my 30s. I can't be out wearing weeb cat girl shit. I, I don't agree. I'm sorry that you are. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry that, you know, it, it actually kind of, it makes me sad for this person that they feel they can't do something. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel bad. I feel bad that you're in your 30s and you think anyone gives a shit how you dress in your free time. I agree. Don't wear my merch to your fucking office. I totally agree. I agree. Hey, man, I don't like anime. This merch line isn't for me. Hey, man, I don't like waifu shit. This merch line isn't for me. That's totally cool. Hey, man, I, don't, I wouldn't wear anime because I don't like it. That's totally cool. I can't be seen in public with this shit. You need new friends. You need new associates. I'm like, what? what? I'm sorry, but you need to be comfortable in what you're wearing whenever you want to wear it. Like, what year is this, dude? What year is this? Like, L take Wubby? Get on a call. Hold on. Vanilla Whoop. We're doing this now. Now I see you fucked up. Get on a call. Get on a call. Now I want to be clear here. My take is going to get bastardized by whoever answers this call because they can't argue against my real point. I want to be clear about my point once more. You're allowed to not like anime and want to wear it you're allowed to not like cat girls and want to wear them you're allowed to even think that cat girls and anime is cringe you're allowed to think that it's the idea that i'm in my 30s therefore i cannot be seen in public with this that's that's kind of invalidating to like everyone in my chat who's 30 and up who loves to wear shit like this it's almost to say i'm too mature for this now so now i can't wear i can't wear this anymore there were comments in here from people. Here, I'll show you one. And I feel like this person gets what I'm saying. Hey, I'm a professional in my 30s and I wear it all the time. Like, what are you saying? 
This is kind of a weird take to be like, I'm too old and too professional to be wearing stuff like this. Like, maybe you don't like it, but like, you're never Wubby, too I'm old. I'm a 32 year old narcotics detective. <laughs> you bet your bippy I'm gonna wear this merch at work. Everyone who thinks it's cringe can go suck a chode. That's not what I'm saying though, when but in public, okay. People don't give a fuck what is on I, your shirt. I, 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 I just, it, it, act, it legit, and this sounds more petty than I mean it. I don't mean this in a mean way, legitimately. If you are choosing to not wear something because you are, you like it, but you don't want to wear it because you think you're too old for it, that makes me sad. I hope you can get over that. That does make me sad for you. I, it, it, like really legitimately i want you if now if you don't like the merch i'm not talking to you i get that that's fair bro peanut was telling me the other day he's like oh i won't mention the youtuber he's like yeah i was looking at so-and-so's merch and uh it wasn't for me it was this style it wasn't for me I, I i don't like that kind of merch so i'm just gonna wait for the next one and i went whoa whoa peanut hold on that's way too mature you need to let everyone know that someone your age can't be seen in that merch is what you need to do are you on their subreddit Go to their so why have you not made a post? I'm still waiting. By the way, I'm happy that people spam Merch wasn't take. for me. Still wanted to support and got some stickers. You don't have to do that hey, though. Radar, it's your boss here. Gonna oh, have to let you go for wearing that All right. merch at work. Someone's got a case of the 30s. <laughs> I'm sorry, but YouTuber merch isn't professional environment approved. You know, Alex, it's funny you mentioned that. A lot of criticism that I received is that, uh, you know, I can't wear this merch around the office. Alex, I'm happy you brought that up. Also, Alex, when you're ready, I'd say go ahead. Can you put in chat when, it, when we're ready to go? Because I think we're ready to go ahead. Um, so we've got a lot of criticisms that this pay money Wubby merch, pay money Wubby's merch was not equipped for people with jobs, for adults in their 30s. I can't wear this around the office. Okay, I hear People you. saying this merch is too lewd to wear in public. Have some real, I've never masturbated in public energy. For real, for real, no cap. I bought the sweatshirt and BT, you, you look so hot in those pictures. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm waiting for something, hold on. I gotta time this right, hold on. This is, this, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are weird, by the way, what the fuck? Okay, so, so I think there's another thing. Even though this line didn't really click for me, if I did, yeah. I don't think it's nearly as easy to wear out in public here in Texas. I know some weird old guys would give glares. One hundred percent. And I, I hear that's totally How fair. Many people are in a Nicole sad environment that they can't wear what they want. I, I, but that doesn't change the fact that that kind of sucks. That you live somewhere where people are going to judge you like that. I don't even blame you. That sucks. Fuck Texas. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry that that's the situation. If you like the merch and you're scared that your Texas brothers are going to uh, judge you, I'm not mad at you. I'm not making fun of you. That sucks. I feel bad. Fuck those people. Fuck anyone All who right, says you, can you can't wear, wear the what you merch want. or the femboy made outfit. Which one will it be covered? So another thing that... Yeah. I bought this merch for my dad. Now he is asking me what hentai is and keeps saying it, Hawaii Okay, and I want to point out too, so Playboy, this line was inspired by Playboy. Playboy has had two very successful collections where they did cat girls and we loved it. That's how it all started in the, that was our like idea board. And the Playboy line is now very, very streetwear. It's very, very wearable. We based it off of that. Um, and I like, listen, I understand if you feel judged in it, um, but like that's, that's, that's on you and God. That's not our fault. That's not our line's fault. Like, I get it, but that's, sorry. Like, I don't know. Wear your fedoras, kings, okay? Go out there and dress how you want to dress. If you don't like the merch, then I'm not talking to you. But I also didn't bring those people up. That's not who I'm talking to on the, uh, on the subreddit. Okay, so without further ado, you know, Alex and I felt bad. We felt bad that the professionals uh, weren't able to... Uh, we felt bad that we had nothing for the over 30 professionals um, on, uh, not live on mobile. Hold on, 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 hold on. I'm refreshing. Hold on. I don't see it. I don't see it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold on. <laughs> Can't wait. Hold on, hold on. Well, in the meantime, actually. Uh, you know, we like taking suggestions for um, merch 
But here's one where I'm just going to tell you this is this is why we don't like listening to you guys. You know, I've seen a lot of feedback on the merch, and I was curious what everyone's idea is. Here's my idea. Okay, let, me, let me explain my idea. It's like a Wubby Universe roster shirt, jersey, hoodie. It's all of them. It's like the San Diego crew on it. Like, look at this Star Wars poster, right? It's like Wubby and, and, and Ham and, like, little Easter eggs. Like, what's funny is this is awful. This is like... The oh, hold, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Wubby, stop being a sensitive, arrogant kid. Bald, loose. Bald, loose. I'm telling you right now, okay? Get on a call with me right now. Get on a... Get, hit up any one of my mods. Get on a call with me right now, okay? And justify what you just said. In fact, pinpoint what I've said here that made me the arrogant one. Get on a call. Get on a call. Just ban him. I'm so over it. No, I want to hear him. Get on a call. 50 months? Yeah, dude, it's what happens. You either become a super fan at 50 months or you become bitter. Get on a call. Get on a call, big guy. Oh, live? Okay, cool. I'll just... Well, anyway, I, I found this so bad. This merch would be terrible. It wouldn't sell well. We've done merch. So I want to point something out. Last time we did merch with my face on it, the merch with my face on it, people on the subreddit were like, Wubby, I'd prefer merch I can wear in public that doesn't have your face. I don't want to walk around with a YouTuber's face on it. And we're like, okay. So now this merch line, we took away anything that's me. And people are like, I really wish Welby put his face on the merch. You can't ever please everyone. So for the professionals in chat and for the people on the subreddit who are looking for merch that will fit their lifestyle, 30 plus lifestyle, not only that, not only 30 plus lifestyle, but being a professional, I want to wear it to work. Well, for 24 hours only, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Pay Money Wubby Professional line. This is real, and this is available at pmw.store for 24 hours only for all my high associates, my office workers, my big boys with adult jobs who should have adult money, my over 30s. Let me show you what we have here. We have every single piece of merch with absolutely no logos on it here we have the purple tie-dye the crop top maybe for when you're walking around the office can't wait to see all my color block oversized hoodie goers walking around berkshire hathaway can't wait to see it happen here we have the black shorts again with absolutely no logo the crew neck grab yourself a tea and maybe a hat remember my over 30s now is your moment your money where your mouth is here is a sleek design that'll look good in any office not a cat girl in sight and not to mention you can still let people know you're repping your favorite youtuber slash streamer with this cute little tag that's right here on the on the bottom right of the shirt and the inseam as well it looks great it looks clean and don't forget while you're here pick up a uh, 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 wait where's the wait hold on where's the where's the did we not do the desk mat alex where's the desk mat where's the goddamn desk mat where's the desk mat alex where's the desk mat we also have desk mats uh, and wait, hold on. Alex said, wait, where is it? There's a desk mat that's blank and the stickers are blank as well. By the way, chat, uh, this is real. This is, uh, something for 24 hours only. You can buy all of the merch free of any cringe. So please, uh, the blanks. Yeah. Blank stickers are a meme worth buying. What do you, none of this is a meme. This is real. I'm trying to help the people. I'm taking the advice ordering that. Go for it, please. Go up to have 24 hours. Fuck, why did I shoot my load on Friday? Well, you, you're cringe. L take dude on Discord. Oh, I can't wait. We'll get him in a second. So there you guys go. 24 hours only. This ends, I believe, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, the entire line available for you guys. We thought this would be a really awesome way to, uh, you know, support some of the more professional people in my audience. <laughs> <clears throat> now I can attend meetings and feel part of the community. Thank you, Wubby. Hey, I got you, senor. I'm looking out for you. Yeah, dude, I'm at POV, you're in a meeting, right? This is you, POV, you walk into a meeting wearing this and everyone goes, stop, stop, turn around. And you give them one of these, you do one of these, whoop, 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 whoop. And they go, oh, <laughs> and they give you a big hug. They say, get off, I thought there were fucking cat girls on there, you homo. And they give you a hug, they slap your ass, they put you in your seat, they go, come here! I thought there were fucking cat, no, there are no cat girls on there, come here! And a little noogie, they <laughs> We're wrong. <sighs> the cat girls aren't lewd to me. 
I've seen too many people wear the hentai shirts out in public to oh, think. Oh, dude, I wear hentai shirts to the gym. Are I'm you kidding me? A medical professional, and I bought the merch. No. Nah. What um, so if is you the actual story behind the design, not what randos think. Big Al, the merch is gorgeous, and the thought behind it is precious. And as someone who's grown up with <laughs> animal bought rescues, the shirt. it's one Somebody of the bought the plane shirt. Fun fish Somebody fact: just, the just buy shirt. the merch, slap a blazer on top of that shit, turn on uh, your cam and run meetings, you little bitch boy. Oh coward. my god! Somebody just bought the plane, dude. I gotta admit, right now, let me let me be clear because we I am fucking with you guys. First off, it is real. It is available for twenty four hours. All of the normal merch is still available if you go to shop all. If you're still interested in the normal merch, you are free to get it. And also, I want to say the major. I, 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 I need to say this because I can I can feel the other threads popping up. To the majority of the people that shared their opinions on the uh, merch, thank you. You've actually helped us a lot. I was able to filter a lot of it down and, and send stuff to Alex for the next line. It really means a lot. A lot of people voted with their money. We know what's the best selling, what's the worst selling. That helps us a lot. To the people who said they didn't like it, that helps us a lot, seriously. And to the, uh, I, I just appreciate it. I'm, Easy I'm clap. Ninety nine percent of you guys, like, so for them. it, it was not a hate thread, and that means a lot. Ninety nine percent of you, even people who had criticism that I felt crossed the line, most of it was handled respectfully. The photos that I just showed, the screenshots, you guys were respectful. I disagreed with some of it, but I still found it respectful. I appreciate that. That goes so far in like the mental health of everyone who worked on this. So seriously, so how long is all this merch going to be available for? So it's two week pre order, two week from last Friday, okay. And then uh, uh, this professional collection is only twenty four hours. Who knows? By the way, <laughs> the green tie dye and purple tie dye are sold out, except for the professional blanks collection. So hey, kids, if you didn't grab, <laughs> if you didn't grab yourself one of these before they sold out. Now is your one and only chance. <laughs> what? Somebody did it! Bro, this is so funny. I mean, is it genius? Is it mean? Is it both? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what? TT, did you... TT seriously bought a hat. TT bought a $42... That's with shipping and taxes. Blank... Just oh, fuck the blank straight shit. from I China. Want that cat girl stuff, my boy. Aquatic hey, just said I picked up two game. hoodies. Getting that next bag? Guys, is this the smartest thing we've ever done? Is this the best merch drop in the hit? Is this like legitimately genius? We thought that. Okay, here's what we thought would happen. We thought some of the people on the subreddit would have found it funny. Like some of the people in the thread were like, all right, well, be fair. You got us. Fair reply. GG's. We thought a couple meme purchases, and then that would be it. What's wrong with you people? There's so many people buying shit. <laughs> this is so stupid. Bro, should the next line just be the nothing? Blank stickers are fire, Wubby. Thanks for the professional launch. So, real <laughs> wait, are the stickers up? I will say this, though. Hold on. To those in the thread. Yes, look. There, the stickers are, are up. Are you the aware there's another Bro, this is the best money, part. Wubby. Hold on, hold on. This is the funniest fucking part of this whole thing. Get yourself a uh, a desk, a pay money will be official desk mat. All right, and then more importantly, do not forget you're gonna want to make sure to pick up those blank stickers. This blank sticker pack is is. <laughs> uh, so real talk though, real talk. I think this is important to say. I'll just just stop. All jokes aside. Uh, the real criticism that reached us that we are going to work hard for in the future is in each collection, I have a personal goal uh, of making sure to have at least one minimal piece. Uh, so that way, I think everyone can be happy. I, I, I totally understand. I don't want to wear cat girls. Yep. I'm there. I get it. So I think the compromise now that I got we, we had to I had to be more aggressive to get this joke out for this to be funnier and make sense. But now that it's over um, in, in our future lines, I'm still going to do weird things. I'm still going to do things that you might not want to wear to work. OK, but I think it's fair to I would like maybe one piece at least right with just small logo. Nothing right. You guys have said there's a demand for it. If you buy them, we'll do it. We know we're hearing you guys. Uh, so there you go. Fair. Thanks, Wubby. That sounds great. You're welcome, man. Thank you for support. Bro, I'm thanking you. I'm trying to... You are the customer, and I'm trying to provide a product you'll buy. Right? That's why I'm in the subreddit. That's why I'm reading this shit, dude. You know? 
PMW.store, boys. PMW store. Professional tissue repair boy is so incensed by feedback on his merch line that he creates a blank line of merch. Okay, wait. Are you are you typing out the article that's already gonna be out? Uh, Helton Shelter, thank you for the five. Uh, Jelly Lawyer, thank you for the five. Toki Pope, thank you for the five. Also, there was a conversation. Do we lower the price? And I said, fuck no. They're buying Wubby so merch. They're sure paying the for Wubby merch. merch will be available after two weeks because I'm a broke boy. But I yes. want that fire merch so much. Bro, don't tell me that you're only going to get one thing of merch and you're going to choose to go with the blanks. The fucking sticker blanks are so stupid, dude. Uh, Imagine right. being too adult for streamer merch, but not too adult to complain about streamer merch on Reddit. See, I don't want to get in that conversation. That is, I will say, the meanest people on the subreddit were the people arguing with everybody on the subreddit. I, I'm, I'm not, while that was funny, I'm not, I'm trying to be dad right now, okay? And I'm trying to make sure everyone's taken care of. If the kids want to fight when I walk out of the room, you guys can Just fucking fight all you want. Shirt. Loving the new line, Wubby. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's still free shipping on orders over 100. Thank you, Alex. I can't believe that is even something we have to say. Dad, can we get McDonald's? If you, as long as you guys stop fighting. Fu <clears throat> Sorry, Dad's really emotional. <laughs> Don't look at me! Don't look at me, my voice cracks! <laughs> Shut up! Real voice, leave me alone. How do the tie dye shirts run? They're all it, big, big. They're good on you. You'll be good. Also, somebody on the subreddit was mad. I called you guys fat. Hey, brother. This is hey. a great first joke. Can't wait for the second one for the stream. I got like, I got five years of, of fat jokes stored up and you, I give one and the, dude, there, I'm not even lying. I called my chat fat last stream because the first size to sell out on the merch was 4X. Okay. So I joking with it pulled up. I'm joking like, ah, oh, you big fat fatties. And there was a post on the subreddit of a guy who was like really bent out of shape over getting shamed. And I sat and I looked at it and I went. There is no way a chatter of mine is going to complain about me making a fat joke. Like there is, bro, I admit, I make racist jokes, sexist jokes. The one I'm allowed to make, at least let me make, brother. I mean, we have, a, we have banned at least a thousand people that have spanned some, sor so, some form of fat insult to you. Wait, no, they're all, well, okay, there are lines, right? Chat, you can call me fat. You can make fun of me. That's fine. There are some people who are like, I am hereby calling for the death of this land whale wubby. I'm going to gut him and sell him at a butcher shop and have a very successful, very fatty meat for at least two to three weeks. Yeah, you can ban those people. You guys can call me fat, though. I don't care. Racism, okay, but I draw the line at way jokes. Why are you quoting me that I said that? I didn't say that. Racism. It's secure to wear cat girls. It, it, Got myself a blank color okay. block hoodie. Thanks, Daddy Wubs. Thank you, brother. Hey, Wubby, tomorrow is my 33rd birthday. Got your Ooh. merch as a gift to myself. Love you. Say it back. With all this money, take big Alta Applebee's. Did you? Hold, Alex, hold I love this collection. I just bought the professional stickers. Thank you so much. For real, though. The merch did, looks great. Love you, Big Al. Did You, you called me a lawyer, but I'm law law, you fuck. If I can sit. <laughs> uh to those wondering to okay two things people saying f at that's so mean people saying f at is so mean <laughs> that's so funny um no not the at symbol you idiots f and then the word at i can't believe i'm telling you guys how to bully me um what was i gonna say though are you enough i'm gonna talk about that Okay, I, I, you guys really seem to have this like weird thing about Allah, you. your work on this collection is fantastic. I can't yeah. wait to put these professional stickers on my work laptop. <laughs> they're just white stickers, bro. I don't even know what they're going to look like. Um, you guys seem to think that this stream, because one, one time I told two jokes that I said, hey guys, I have two jokes I'm going to tell. I did this once, one stream. Now, every stream since then, you guys go, oh, is, where's the second joke? Are you going to do another joke? Where's the first joke? So I feel like my hand... Lidorisa! Thank you for the 10. Appreciate you. Uh, 
did I miss anybody? No, I got all the subs. Thank you. Do we? Okay, chat. I have a question. Yeah, just yes or no. I'm gonna do an eyeball here. I'm gonna eyeball. Carlos Wubby, this collection is fire. I can't wait why, to why pitch Carlos? my startup to J.P. Morgan investors in the color block hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real talk. Nobody go buy more. But if somebody really did buy this and is gonna wear it to work now, can you please like put it on the subreddit when it comes in? Um, why do you think Carlos? Anyway, whatever. What was I gonna say? What was I going to say? Damn it. No, mommy. No. You distracted me. You distracted me. I bet the second joke's coming. Oh, yes or no? Oh, that dude who said L take Wubby. I feel like... It, it, t Chat, do you even want to talk? Do you even want me to talk to him at this point? I like bringing people on stream because I like when you're trying to be this loud, faceless name. Um, uh, you can't hide behind it when I bring you on, right? <clears throat> But now I feel like it's resolved. And I feel like chat gets where I'm coming from. I feel like chat understands where I'm coming from. And I feel like I, I articulated what I meant well. And there's like no issue anymore. Okay, everyone spam me no. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with no. I, 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 I'm cool with no. I, it's not, I, I just wanted to be known that I was going to bring him on stream. But I, f I feel like it's over now. It's like, what could he even say? He's just going to dig it up like, oh, well, well, you know, you were mean to that shit. No, okay, no, no, you're wasting time. I want to see if the guy understands you. Okay, wait, now, wait a minute. That is interesting. That is interesting to me. That is interesting to me. Hold on. All right, I'm calling him. <clears throat> I'm calling him. I'm hooked. Hey, what's up? Hello? Hey. What's up, hey, man? what's up? So how do you, so you were, you were a L take wubby spammer. So, um, how do you feel now? Do you still feel that way? And if so, can you, can you explain? Yeah, I can explain. Um, yeah, go ahead. It's basically just Twitch speak, you know, my opinion on the matter is a bit more, um, elaborate. Uh, I like the merch in certain cases, I'd say it's a little too much, but that's just my personal opinion. I might be slightly biased. Um, I, okay, so I want to be clear. We're not yeah. interested necessarily yet in your opinion. We're trying yes. to get to the bottom of what was the L take. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I, guys, listen. I don't like... Everyone thinks I am this cocky dude on stream. Everyone, everyone says it, right? Okay, everyone does every single time. Chat, I am not cherry picking. I literally look at my chat and someone's the loudest spamming bullshit. So I go, bring him on. Every single time I go, hey, can you explain why you said that? Oh, I don't mean it. Oh, I don't know. I was just joking. Oh my God. I just, it's, it's, I'm not going to ban him. Because he did sound like him laughing, you know, I'm here for a good time. He sounds like he's here for a good time. But I just, it, every time it proves my point. Every time. Um, they just want attention. Positivity check. Yeah, woo! Was, does that, was that convincing? I don't know what that was. Do I seem positive now? Woo! Yeah, woo! Chat should decide if he gets banned. Mods, can you put up a poll? I know, I'm sorry, Mods. Mods, can you put up a poll for banning this guy? I'm so down. I'm so... I I'll let chat decide. I will let chat decide. It's not up to me. Wobby, Wobby. Woo! He's gone. He already left. You should file an FCC complaint to get your internet problems fixed. Hey, brother, guess what I did? Guess what I literally did after that subreddit post? I did it. Ban him. I'll vote. I'm not going to tell you guys who I'm voting for, but I'll vote. I'll for sure vote. I'll vote right now. But I won't show you guys what I'm voting for. Because that would be... That would, that would sway it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? My screen was visible? Oh. I won't ban him. I won't ban him. It's fine. Okay, so merch, 24 hours. All the merch is still available. You can get it if you want. Uh, or you can get the professional line, which we put out as well. Feel free. Feel free. All right. 33 months already. <sighs> Sheesh. Chad, if you have to go poop. If you have to call your mom, you have to make food, now's months. the time to do so. Hey, Wubby, 
Because I want to go on a rant. Hearthstone? Do I play Hearthstone? Can I tell you what turned me off of Hearthstone? Brown Town Brown. Dude, can I say something else? Can I tell you the worst trend that I hate right now? I, 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 there is, okay. I hate, I hate the word ick being used like to just make uh, people feel like shit. That's the new trend that I'm going to, I'm going to jump on. I hate the word ick used to make people just feel like absolute shit. That's what I'm seeing it used for like everywhere. It, is that a thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. It started funny, like it was more tongue in cheek, but now it's just like, you give me the ick, and then and then, then tagging. It's like, bitch, you give me the ick. You're disgusting. What do you mean? I don't get it. <clears throat> do you want to explain? In what context? So here's what. I, there's this one TikTok that I was like totally into at first. I'm like, damn, this is like this is brutal now. Where it's like, icks that I, like. Something my boyfriend does that gives me the ick. And then it's like, it's, it, it, I don't know how to describe it unless you know. Can I get a Zoomer on call, please? Can somebody come do this for me? It's like saying cringe for everything. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. It's, it's the new cringe. It's the new like way to totally invalidate someone or something with a just, well, that's just cringe. So I don't even deal with that. It's like, okay, God, ick talk. I need, well, Yeb just kind of did it for us. She just explained it really well. It is. It's like it's like the new cringe. It's I think it's the new Zoomer version of cringe. Stop looking at lame shit. I love lame, bro. Lame is what's up. Ick is cringe for real, for real. You're you're everything. I don't like that. Did you see the person who said she had ick when a guy is happy? Okay, Kevy Wevy, can you link that? First off, second off, that's exactly what I'm talking about. There's like, and I know, you know, you look in toxic places, you're gonna find toxic people. I get that. I'm I'm browsing the TikTok, so I know I'm gonna see the worst of everyone, men, women, and everything in between, right? I get that. But I have seen shit like that where it's like when I was on a date and this guy like laughed and his laugh, it just gave me the ick. I'm like, what I okay, all right, we'll just be stoic. All right, go back to doing nothing. Oh, okay. Can you link that? I wanna, I wanna see the, cause I know what you're, I know the type of shit you're talking about. Never heard of lame. Freddie Mercury died of ick, brother. You're thinking of HIV. Um, don't get them mixed up. If I say, hey, TT, I have the ick. I don't want you to think that we can't have unprotected sex, TT. I don't want that to get taken from me. <laughs> Zoomer, Zoomers now use it as it annoyed me and I can't stand it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It annoys me, and now I can't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. He died of hick. <laughs> All right, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevy, if you can find that, you got to get that on my desk. Pronto. So now that I've explained the ick, I'm gonna give you all the ick. Um, what is this guy saying? Please, I spent a. I spent a hundred dollars on this merch, and he's being dense right now. Never mind. Disregard me. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love, I love someone being like, get me on this call. I'm going to tear Wubby to shreds. Oh, he finished. No, he, it was fair. It's fine. Uh, no, no, no. My, my fault. My fault. Drop your icks. Um, I don't have an ick. I feel like that's weird to say. I have things I don't like. Um, really tall men. Uh, Dude, the, just the temptation to say the most racist shit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, what is this? Aquatic sent me a video. This is some crazy shit to say out loud. Oh, bro. Thank you. Hold on, guys. I'm logging into x.com. My new favorite social media. I'm sure it's your guys' favorite, too. I'm logging into x.com. Thank you, Aquatic. Claps and chat for Aquatic. Don't clap for him. Don't be, don't be a pussy. Don't do it. I had an ex who wouldn't shower for weeks without, who wouldn't shower for weeks without sex. Hold on, I'm having a hard time understanding what that means. He wouldn't shower for weeks without sex? What does that mean? Like if you wouldn't have sex with him, he wouldn't shower? Also, uh, see, that's the thing though. That is an ick. That's, that's an example where it's like, yeah, I, I, but I don't call that an ick. I call that an absolute character flaw. That dude might have depression. He might need to get some help because not showering for weeks is seriously not normal. That is a red flag. That's not an ick. 
It, oh my god, it's, it's just so icky when he does this. No, it's not. That's a fu we call that a red flag, brother. Don't you do that? My brother, listen to me, guys. You don't know me. I am showering right now. I'm showering in conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could, that was really dumb. I couldn't get through it. I tried. I really tried to. I'm showering in good times. I am showering in... My red flag is old now. Yeah, red flag is the old person way to say it. Okay, here, here's this video. I haven't seen this, so here we go. Here it is. What is this going to be? We're all going to find out together. What's the crazy... Loud. What's the craziest thing you got the ick for? I don't like to see happiness sometimes. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here, okay? And I want this... I... This... This is... This is what I'm getting on my on my TikTok with like people listing their icks. But the problem is usually their icks are just like, man, you're attacking a human for being human. By the way, it's not, a, I'm, I'm being very intentional here. This is not a woman thing. I've seen other people do this to other non, this is not woman to man. I've seen this everywhere. It's, yes, it is. I'm not, I've seen it on TikTok from all sides and it's, it's like mind Originally blowing. I thought the cat girls wasn't for me. Yeah. Uh, but giving it a second look, that crew neck is straight heat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's, 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 she's got that manipulator stance. Okay, come, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> the star alerts aren't on this uh, page. What's the craziest thing you got the ick for? I don't like to see happiness sometimes. Okay, I know I'm really being annoying here, but what the fuck did her mouth do? You want to talk ick? Just ho let's hold up a mirror. What the fuck did her mouth do before answering? She had a whole wind up. Sorry. Okay. That really is blowing my mind in so many ways. <laughs> I don't like to see happiness sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw a man like smiling. <laughs> like, you know, after a party when you're popping balloons and like he was popping the balloon. Okay, I'm, now that I've given you a good example, I can really go in on what I truly mean here. A lot she of times- She was able to dislocate her jaw like a motherfucking python. <laughs> what I'm saying is a lot of the icks I see on TikTok are like criticizing somebody having a small moment of happiness. Like, it's just like, what's the joke here? Like, it's like, it like, like, right? Like, it's just so weird. It's like, oh, she watched a guy uh, or, like there's some funny ones that I've seen. I'll give you an example of a funny one. My ick is, uh, and, and this has changed. This has altered my brain right here. Ready? I've, th there was an ick I saw where girls like, uh, my ick is watching a guy chase after a ping pong ball when playing beer pong or like table tennis. And I'm like, damn, I'm never doing that again. If I'm out anywhere and we're doing teams and I got honeys around me, guess what I'm doing? I throw, I miss stand with my arms crossed. I'm like, you pick it up, bitch. Sweetheart, not my problem. And then I, whatever you want. I don't know. Because clearly if I chase after it, you're, I mean, look, you, look, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Let me, let me, let me give you an example here. Okay. Let me show, let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta clear some space. Hold on. Oh God. I don't want to stand. I'm gross. Leave me alone. So this is it, right? I can understand this, right? You ever chase after a ping pong ball? It's like. It's not a good look. And I understand that it's not a good look, okay? That's a funny ick. I get that. It's a fun that's a funny ick, right? Well, I saw a guy smile. I saw a dude like experiencing true joy, you know? And I found it kind of disgusting. And he was like playing with it before he was popping the balloon. And he was like playing with it before he popped it. And I looked over and I was just like, hmm. All the sexual tension leaving the room. <laughs> so this is why you're single, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, let's go, bro. Bro, hit her with it. That's why you're gonna die alone, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> it's my fault. Do we have more of these? I could watch these all day. Do anyone have another? That was straight. That was bro. Anyway, what are we talking about? Why did I talk about this? At least she's self-aware. Yeah, but like that only gets you so far. Like, you know, I know I'm awful. I know it. I know I'm awful. On a positive vibe, did you ever find a miniature painter for your army? I did. I'm working with someone, but goddamn, there's so many people who reached out. I kind of want to hire more people to do other shit. This one is for all the parents. Oh, my ick is Pop-Tarts all over the floor. 
Shut up, bitch. Damn. Ugly. We already that, that video already played earlier. Uh that was the that was the, the monkey thing. You playing 40k? No. I'm not. Oh, Hearthstone! In rubbing your feet That's how it all started? Oh my god, I was gonna tell you something that gave me a face at someone's joy. Some people aren't self-aware they do it. What? I was gonna tell you guys my ick, and it comes from um it comes from my friend Drumsy. Check DMs. What is this? Oh no. No. Is this me? Just out there be on the look Oh no. Oh no. POV, you lose all feelings for your boyfriend in 10 seconds. Just out there be on the lookout for Captain Saber How. Cause he's saving how. Listen, I can laugh at sexist jokes. This is funny, and I'm gonna tell you right now, though, ladies, don't think you're not changing us, though. All right, we're trying to be more in touch and more vulnerable, and then we see this fucking filth on our for you page. You better believe you're setting me back 15, 20 years, socially speaking. Okay, a couple more of these run through my for you page, and I'm I'm gonna start looking at the this this voting right that you guys think you have. Okay, I'm just calling a spade a spade here. All right, this is funny, and I, <laughs> right, and I laugh, and then it I gets comes it comes it goes, from it a get, long ago childhood listen, memory. It really scarred me. Someone uh, zipped. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is, I laugh. I go, okay, yeah, we look. This is funny. I like this. This is at the expense of dudes, right? I get it. I'm there, but then, then I find myself playing beer pong at a party. Next thing I know, I'm like, I'm not. No, you grab it. Why am I like this? I don't know. I don't, maybe, maybe my for you page has something to do with that. I don't know. He actually does agree with Ben Shapiro. No! Are we stunlocked? No, I, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with anybody. They like drive. Oh, you like driving. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro, just grab the fucking ball. No. No, 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 no. no. Stunlock with himself? What do you mean? We're just talking, Chad. You don't like talking anymore? Chad, are you, are you in your teens? Are you too independent for me now? I'm sitting here having a conversation with you. It's going great, and like bunch of chatters. We're, we're, we're just gonna talk. Yeah, I wanna know how your fucking day was. All right. So anyway, my ick. Hearthstone gives me ick, straight up. Sorry, and a lot of it has to do with with Drumsy. If you know who Drumsy is, I love Drumsy by the way. Nothing bad to say about him. Girl shirts. What? Um, but I remember when we, him and I, used to go to the gym together back like in college. Uh, he would go to the treadmill, and he would just play Hearthstone. As he walked on the treadmill, and it just and I would I was I would look at him with disdain. <laughs> Cap, ask him, ask him. <laughs> I would just be like, "What are you do like, bro? We are out here. What are you doing?" <laughs> you get Chad. I knew you guys would like it. Is so Hearthstone on the treadmill is wild. That's kind of what I'm saying, bro. Dude would be out of breath, sweating. He used to do cross country. Dude would be panting. Fucking. I'm, I'm like, what a creature. <laughs> what a what a what a specimen this drumsy guy is just just putting in the sweat and making sure to get a mad placement it's crazy only play 500 miles on repeat what does that mean <clears throat> this is why my opponents always take forever yeah they're they're working out bro is he still panting either way i don't know lashley thank you and jasmine thank you both for the subs the song 500 miles You guys doing that shit while you're working out? You listen to this kind of cheesy music? If 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 my headphones got disconnected while I was walking on the treadmill and this was playing, I feel like I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> You'd see me trying to pick up a ping pong ball. Just panic. When I wake up, <laughs> so I bad, I'm dude. Be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. <laughs> Just you at the yeah, gym, bro. I'm, There's yeah, no I way. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. But I, I get drunk. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I hate her, yeah, I know. Just I'm me, think of the fight. All right, I saw a movie last night. We're gonna talk about that. But I Okay, so 
Dude, I really do ah, no! this game, though. Thank Warby you. Warby eats corn on the cob the long way. No, I don't. No, I don't, bro. I don't eat it the long way, bro. Yo, yo, that's cat, bro. That's an ick, bro. So I saw Barbie last night, and and I listen. Okay, I need to figure out how to do this without getting, without ruining stream tonight. Because I gotta be honest with you guys, I've had a fun ass stream so far. The vibes immaculate, and I'm not trying to harsh the vibes right now, but I need. The world needs Wubby's Barbie opinion, man. People, the, the, they're, they're lined up outside my door right now for the Barbie opinion. And I got to give it to him. I, I, I got to give it to him. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So I'll see. I'm going to see Oppenheimer too. I'm going to see that as well. I'm going to give you guys the review. Uh, it was fucking amazing, man. Guys, I'm going to say it. Here we go. And this is going to be a mostly spoiler review, but I will give warnings before the spoiler happens, okay? I had, I had not seen any of the trailers, really. I was going in blind. I didn't know what the movie was about, for the most part, overwhelmingly. And I also had no expectations, right? I'm like, I'm going to see a Barbie movie. First thing I didn't really realize was it wasn't a kid's movie. Didn't realize that at all. And I was like, okay. So I can be a little more critical now that I'm realizing this is a... It's PG-13, it's a, it's a, it's a, I didn't realize, I thought it was, I, everyone was like, you're criticizing a movie about dolls. It's like, well, it, it's actually, it, it's not for children. Uh, it's definitely got like a lot yeah, of sexual jokes. We don't need this um, But what's my opinion of it? Going in with no expectations, excited to see it anyway. And I had a hot dog during the movie. So you know what? That means I should have loved it. Man, I, I, guys, I didn't like it. And, 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 and it got to a point where I, me and Booty were talking. I actually don't know if Booty wants his opinion public. So I'll say this. Uh, if I hadn't been sitting in a theater watching it, I probably wouldn't have finished it. Um, I probably would have uh, gotten just either bored or uninterested enough to turn it off. Um, now, hold on. Go for it. Yeah, Booty and I felt the same. Booty wasn't there. He had already seen it. But... Uh, I messaged Booty after because Booty was like, oh, I didn't really like it. I'll talk to you after the movie. And I messaged Booty and I'm like, oh, let me read you my exact exchange with Booty because <laughs> it's funny. Hold on. Because the second the movie ended, I went to Booty and I was like, damn it. I wanted to, I wanted to be, I wanted to feel different. Hold on. Where's, here it is. Uh, Booty. <laughs> the second the movie ended, text to Booty. Tough watch. Not going to lie. My exact words. Tough watch. Booty responds in all caps. Thank you. And then he says, I feel like I have to preface my opinion with it's not because of incel macho troll bullshit. I just thought it was a rough movie. And I'm like, my brother. Yes. And then I said, Ben Shapiro has ruined this for everyone. <laughs> He's booty said I could share it. Um, so with that, uh, I want to share why I didn't like it because like, I'm allowed to not like it. And I think what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to tell you why I don't like it without invalidating if you liked it. And then we can see when the dust is settled, who's immature. All right. So already the ads of Wubby L take proving I come out on top on this one. All right. Because I'm not saying you have a bad take for liking it. I'm saying I didn't like it. So I'm going to explain why I didn't like it. First off, overall disliking a movie doesn't mean there are things I didn't like at all and more importantly i loved aspects of the movie there were things in the movie that i f i actually loved uh ryan gosling was an absolute i mean he was so good in it every time he was on screen every every almost everything he did was hilarious his character was funny there was a point in the movie where i was like i'm kind of not even enjoying anything without ryan gosling he was the well yeah he's me and ryan gosling is me by the way like i'm hit we identify so well with him like we're actually he's literally me uh margot robbie's feet <laughs> i'm kidding um i can't believe i'm in the movie yeah i can't believe it either he's sexy sure he's sexy but uh, he was funny he his everything like and I'll, not to mention like i found his i found his story more interesting too but that's just a personal opinion that being said he was funny. His lines were funny. All of the Ken interactions were hilarious. Uh, I don't know the other Ken. The Ken that was like his arch nemesis in the movie was hilarious. 
Uh, Alan was funny. All the other Kens, I, I just, I liked them. He was the comic relief. I get that, but but the, I'm not saying, what I'm saying is that I'm telling you the things I liked. I'm not explaining that the movie was funny. Ken's scenes were funny. There were other attempts at comedy throughout the movie. That really, something like, I, I, oh man, I did something kind of unintentionally. You know that lady, what's that lady from SNL or whatever she's from? She's in like everything. Hold on. Who plays weird Barbie? What's her name? Fucking Kate McKinnon. This made, uh, dude, I got, this made Alex laugh out loud. But when she appeared on screen, Kate McKinnon, it was quiet. And I went, oh, I hate Kate McKinnon as an actress. I just, every time I see her, I go, oh, it's that lady. It's a, this is an actress doing another goofball character every single, I just, I don't like, I, I've ne I don't. Give me a movie she's in. Maybe I'm forgetting one, but everything she's been in, I'm just like, oh, there she is. Oh my God, I can't stand it. She's just, I find her, her comedy. Now, she's maybe written things that I found funny. I'm not saying, her performances in things, I always just find just so, the, she's, she is the Zoe Deschanel of being the weird comedic character. It's just, I can't do it. I don't like it. I can't, I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chat. Get her on a call. This is her, by the way. If you're wondering who I'm talking about, I bet you I'm gonna get a few people that get really mad and a few people that go, oh, you're totally right. Here's who I'm talking about. This actress, this, this lady. I just, does she give you the ick? No, because that's mean and she's a person and I don't hate her as a person and I don't think she's, I'm not attacking her looks or anything. I just, every time she plays a character, I go, oh, I don't like, she appeared on screen and I lit in the uh, brew in the fucking theater. I went, oh, and then I went, oh, sorry, fuck. I just very, uh, very well spoken, sir. Such positivity, so proud of you. Oh, eat my ass. She was better on SNL. Okay, wait, that's actually fair. I liked her in SNL sketches. There are SNL sketches that I can remember that she was funny in. So that's fair. Anytime she's been in a movie as a character, I'm always just like, it's the same. It's just not, I don't like it. Is that an offer? No. Uh, she was great in SNL. And I agree. But now I'm really going to piss everybody off. I thought Wolf, I just find Wolf Ferrell so grating. He's, he's okay. Anyway, so, um, all right. She's typecast. Yeah, yeah. She's always the same character. She's the Zoe Deschanel of like weird comedic uh, uh, female characters. Um, anyway, so here's where everyone's going to lose their mind on me. Why didn't I like the movie? <sighs> Man, there's no way to do this. I mean, Booty said it best. He said, I, I want to dislike the movie without being whatever you're going to assign me as politically. Right? <clears throat> it's just... The movie has a message. The movie has a message that uh, I would say the first 20 to 30 minutes of the movie, I was totally okay with. The message doesn't change, by the way. The first 20, 30 minutes of the movie, though, it does seem like the message is more subtly being used, and when it's exaggerated, it's pretty funny. After that 20, 30 minutes, it kind of goes into... Oh, God. It's just... It, it gets to a point where, it, for me personally, it became a little hard to watch with how preachy, ham-fisted, down-your-throat the message became. And I'm like... There was a point where I'm like, okay, this joke is being taken away in service of this message that they're trying to say to me. And I go, okay, this is becoming boring to me. And on top of that, I felt like the message itself was, like, not really conversation-starting. I felt like the message that they were putting out was just like a really low level conversation about, you know, it was social commentary in the most lazy, ham fisted, overdone, kind of ridiculous way. And at first it worked for me. At first it worked. The first 20 minutes it was working. And then it just kept going. I'm like, hey, the jokes are happening less. The message is happening more. Hey, the jokes are almost entirely gone. The message is just down your throat. What am I watching? Where did the fun go? What am I doing? What is happening here? Um, 
There's a, a skit, a Pixar skit, just to show you guys that I'm not a woman hater who hates movies that criticize uh, our patriarchal system. There's a, uh, 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 I rewatched it today. What is it called? Uh, Pearl is a Pixar short that, in my opinion, really, really successfully criticizes and in a, in a way that I find uh, to be more nuanced and, and just overall better uh, uh, talks about this issue. Uh, go watch Pearl. Uh, I recommend Pearl. I hope that can get some of you idiots off of my back who are saying that I hate women. I don't hate women. I just find that the Barbie movie became so unbearably ham-fisted and preachy that it became almost hard to watch. I feel like I don't know who this message is for because there's people who agree with it. There's people on the fence and there's people who disagree. And I don't think this is going to move anybody, but except make things more divisive. I don't think there was any careful conversation or nuance. I think it was just ridiculous at times. I mean, I wrote down a bunch. I can get into it if you want, but it just became kind of uh, it became not much of a movie for me by the end um mulan had the same message but is goaded yeah because mulan so so this movie is like at a certain point in my opinion it stops being a movie and becomes a message whereas mulan there is this well crafted story and by the end of it you go holy fuck i just got it like there was a message there there was a lot of things that are gonna make you think this movie is the opposite of that there's almost no movie at a certain point and it's all message and it's not delivered subtly and it's not delivered in a way that's easy to digest it's just i, I don't know I, I, I go watch it if you don't believe me um you hate us that's why we only have one fitted merch option available <laughs> what are you where are you in stream right now how are you watching stream with a 45 minute delay uh 10 out of 10 but cut all the women dialogue by 90 percent got it wubby that you're i know what you're doing you're trying to one guy me that is funny uh here, I'll give you the clip you're looking for. Yeah, I hate Barbie, the movie, because I fucking hate women. I do. I do. That's in every way possible. So there you go. There's the clip. Now, take the clip, run with it, so we can have the conversation I want to have here. Uh, which is, yeah, I, 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 here, let me read you some of the things I wrote down that I was just like, I don't, I don't get it. I, and I, the movie had a bit of a, a, a message crisis too. It just didn't. Oh God. Okay. This is spoilers. We're now going, um, into spoilers. I also watched uh, a review. Um, I watched two reviews. I watched one review. Who was, what was the YouTuber name? Hold on. I apologize. I watched two. I did not watch a Ben Shapiro review because I did not want anything he said to be unintentionally parroted by me because Ben Shapiro is a moron and I don't want any sort of association with him. I watched, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I watched. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I know this person fought in, in the, the boxing. Alana Pierce? Alana, whatever her name is. Alana. She has a channel called Alana Games. And I watched her review. She had I Didn't Love Barbie. I thought it was interesting because a lot of the accusations for people who don't like Barbie are, well, you're a man. I wanted to hear her opinion on why she didn't like it. And then I watched Hassan's review. Hassan Abi reviews the Barbie movie. I watched both of those to hear both sides um, of a dude who liked it and a woman who didn't. I thought that was interesting. And ultimately, I lined up a lot more with Al 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 Alana. I lined up a lot more with her. Uh, I'd suggest watching both those reviews if you care. Hassan did do 9-11 as well. I think that's an important note. Alana, as far as I'm aware, has no major terroristic actions that would be credited to her. Very true. Something to look into. Um, of course, Hassan liked it, but I'm not mad at Hassan for liking it. I, I, you're allowed to like it. It just didn't do it for me. So I wrote down a few things I'd like to talk about. I wrote, I took notes during the movie at a certain point. I had was not planning on it. Then I got to a point I'm like, damn, I am going to be talking about this on the stream. I got to start writing stuff down. So, um, okay. First off, uh, these are all spoilers. Um, and Alana mentioned this one, and I feel like this is just so well said. Uh, the movie tries to like tackle problems of what it means to be difficulties of being a woman, but I genuinely, and this Alana said this, and I'm just going to parrot it. I really feel like the problems they tackled are like problems and difficulties of being human, and there's no nuance, and there's absolutely no like, re like, it's just the lowest tier conversation that's disguised as like positive feminism 
and in reality it's just it's 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 not that it's just it's i mean go watch it i don't want to spoil it directly but there's one scene that i'm talking about in particular where the mother daughter are going on she's giving this speech the mother is giving this speech to hype up barbie and hype up the other barbies and she goes into this huge long drawn out speech about like how hard it is to be a woman and it's 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 almost painstaking it's not it doesn't add anything new to the conversation it's not funny it's not interesting it's in my opinion, things that humans deal with, men, women, anything in between, whatever you identify with, it's, it, I thought the speech was good. And you have every right to, you have every right to. I saw it as pandering garbage when I heard it. I was like, man, this is just, what is this doing? What is this doing? I want to shake people saying that's the point. You can criticize the point. I am criticizing the point. I, I, I think that the movie, I feel like the, the movie, the point the movie was making too, didn't even work for itself. Um, it wasn't feminist, it was humanist, but it was presented as feminist, I think, in, to get people riled up. Uh, that's the only part I hated. Well, then we agree! Otherwise, I really enjoyed the rest of the movie. That's fair. That's fair. A couple of really cringe parts. So, for example, I'll give an example of where they did... So, the word patriarchy is used in this movie quite a bit. Quite a bit. It, a lot. Okay, I have no problem with that. If you're going to do something interesting, if you're going to criticize criticize patriarchal issues in our society, go for it, right? But the way it's done, it can be eye-rolling at times. I'll give you two examples of where uh, it was done well and an example of where it was done bad. I loved how Ryan Gosling, Ken, discovers the patriarchy. That was shot so well. It was funny. It was overdone. It was exaggerated. It was ridiculous. But it was also like interesting and funny and yet it was a criticism on society and men in society and i'm not yeah i'm okay with that it was interesting it was well done when he goes up to the screen and it's showing images of presidents and horses and explosions and he's like what the fuck there's a hummer he sees dudes going finger guns and he's learning all of it and it's done it's being shown not told everything is being shown to us it's not down your throat it's funny it's over the top but it was done so well right great now, here's an example. I thought it was funny. I'm like, oh, I love where this is going. He's about to get totally, like, dude-pilled in the worst way. Love it, right? And then, right back to bad writing. He goes up to the executive, and he, Ryan Gosling now thinks the world works this way, right? And the joke is on Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling is going up to executives, and he goes, hi, I'm a man. I'd like a job as a CEO. And the executive goes, no, we're not going to do that. So the joke, right, is on... Ryan Gosling, he thinks the world works this way, and the movie is showing us it doesn't work that way because the CEO goes, no, that's not how it works. So then Ryan presses it a little bit, and he goes, oh, no, no, the CEO says this. Oh, no, 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 we're still really, like, sexist. We just hide it much better now, so you're going to have to figure that out, whatever he says. And I'm just like, what is the, what's the, what's the, I don't get the joke there. It, you're contradicting what the joke is supposed to be in the moment, too. The joke is on Ryan Gosling. He thinks the world works. He can just walk up to a, a, a random CEO. Okay, someone just said it's true. What do you mean it's true? What do you, so you can, as a man, you can just, I'd like to be the CEO now. What do you mean? The next joke, the next joke was him going up to a doctor. And he said, hi, I'd like to be a doctor now. And they're like, that's not how that works. You're, do you have any degrees? And he goes, no, no, I'm a man. And they go, no, you need to get out of here. Boom, there you go. That's the joke. That is the joke. Why undermine your own joke by being like, oh no, you're still right, by the way. We're really sexist. We're just hiding it. But, th but th that undermines the joke just so you can inject your message into the movie, in my opinion. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I, th th it's such a perfect example of how you can make a statement while being funny with the doctor scene. He goes, let me speak to the doctor. And it's a woman and she goes, I am a doctor. And he goes, uh, I'm gonna go over here. What, what, that was done so well. Compare that to the scene with the CEO where it just, it's like, what's the joke there then? So Ryan was right. We're, we shouldn't be laughing at him. What? So it, doesn't, I don't, it just didn't make any sense to me. I didn't like it. Um, who asked? You, you're in my chat. You're watching my stream, dipshit. By you even interacting with me, you're literally asking. Oh my God. So what happens when a committee writes a movie? Okay, so everyone whooshing right now. What a, you know what? That's fine. You can like the movie. Uh, okay. Uh, the, oh, this was a good point. Uh, uh, the, 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 the left, the super woke girls 
right? Who the the the, the little teens at the table, the super like they're they're woke and they're they use terms like fascist and they criticize uh, uh, um, capitalism, right? We have Barbie's first two interactions: the um, the construction workers, the patriarchal assholes who catcall her and make her feel like shit. And so then we have on the other side the the people who were supposed to be. I, I can imagine who this would be more pandering to. They make her fucking ball her eyes out. They go on this huge rant about criticizing her for the way she looks. They make her feel like shit. She leaves bawling. It's like, I don't, I don't understand what the message is supposed to be here. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I didn't get it. Uh, to be completely honest, they were also a joke. W what's, then I get, guys, then I'm allowed to say this. I guess it wasn't funny to me then. I guess it just wasn't funny to me then. Uh, so I, I'm a lot. It's satire, bro. Are you dumb? Bro, you are going to bat for the Barbie movie. Okay. You are going to bat for the bar. I'm sharing my opinion. You're getting offended to the point of defense for the Barbie movie, bro. What is going on? I, there are names I've never seen in this chat before speaking right now. Going to bat for the Barbie movie. If you're on your stream sharing your opinion, I'm not gonna, that's fair, right? But you are, dude, Margot Robbie will never know you exist. I'm just, I gotta keep it a buck right now, dude. She's net, you are, listen, that women don't wanna fuck you because you liked the Barbie movie. And they, that's not, I promise you, they've seen you chase a, a little ping pong ball around. Okay, they know, they can see through you, dude. They can see right through you. All right. Lastly, what well, I guess I won't get too into this one, but I'll, I'll leave it one of the last things I'll say about it And then I'd love to hear your opinion if you've seen the movie one of the last things I I'll say is uh, The ending I feel like undermines its own message. So The the Ken's take over they take over Barbie land. They make Barbie land a patriarchy um, Because prior to that Barbie land was a matriarchy. It was it was a it was a world run by women for women where the dudes were nothing more than like accessory pieces uh, uh almost borderline slave-like in that world but they were cool with it because they didn't know any better right so the dudes find out there's more to the world than being just an accessory to women right so the dudes take over and they make the world of barbie land a patriarchy and that's fucked up too they make the women submissive they make the women serve them drinks and wash their feet all fucked up not good right so I'm thinking, okay, I think the end of this movie is going to be something like the women are going to take back power, but then we're going to find peace in Barbie land where men and women can be equal and not one elevated over the other, right? And then that doesn't happen. They just go back to a matriarchy and the Kens just go back to like submissiveness. And I'm like, what? I don't understand. So what's the message? And then there's one line in the movie that I went, What? And I'm like, this was the moment. This was the moment where the message could have been, yo, that's fucked up when men are in power. Yo, that's fucked up when women are in power. We should work together. I was thinking that's where the message was going. And then they shit all over it when one of the Kens says, hey, can I be on the Supreme Court now? And the president, who's a woman, goes, no, <laughs> no, you can't do that. Uh, maybe when, when the real world catches up, uh, we'll, we'll make more men on the Supreme Court. And I went, huh? What? Who? What? I'm like, I don't... What's the message then? Because the real world is caught up. I, had, I, I wasn't sure, so I fact-checked it, but I looked up the Supreme, current members of the Supreme Court. Out of nine of them, four of them are women. So what year is this move? I don't get I don't get the joke. I don't understand the joke. The Ken is like, no, you, you don't... Bro fucking Wootkins... Okay. <laughs> what's the joke? What's the joke? It's meant to be a reflection of the real, but but that's I don't get the joke though. What's the joke there though? Wasn't the joke that he has no political experience to be part of it? No, that wasn't that wasn't the joke at all. She made him a judge. She made him a lower level judge, not just not Supreme Court. I don't get it either. Can someone please explain? Yeah, I, I don't get the joke. I actually don't get history is repeating itself. What's the joke? Because women don't have rights, will be. Oh my God, women don't have rights. Oh my god, what? I'm live in the Middle East. That's crazy. Uh, 
It's just to make... I, hold on. A lot of people... The whole chat filled with whooshes. And they're saying, it's a joke. Women don't have rights. You don't get it. Can you explain... Can, can, can you... Oh, here we go. Someone in chat. If you're not a woman working in a professional environment, shut the fuck up. You don't understand what it's like. It's not like it was 50 years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm confused about, right? Like, I felt like that joke... I get, I get it was a joke, but the point I'm making is I don't find the joke funny because I feel like it's, I don't know, years too late. The joke is we're not going to make you on the Supreme Court because uh, in the real world, uh, you know, there's no women. It's like, but that's just not true, though. Half the Supreme Court is women currently in the current year when Barbie came out. What's the joke? I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't. And you're saying, well, be men and women aren't equal. Okay, I, if you're going to make that point, then if you want to make a movie where that's the point, you can do it in ways that aren't just like, here is my message, which I felt, unfortunately, is what happened in Barbie by the halfway point. No whoosh, not a joke, just a genuine idea, right? We can't instantly switch to being perfectly 50-50. But, but what you're saying isn't even true. In the, in the case of the comment that I'm referencing, it is 50-50. There's nine members, five men, four women. That's as close as you can get. What are you talking? I don't get it. Now you're saying career gaps. We're not talking about career gaps. What are you talking about? The joke was that you can't be a Supreme Court justice right away. It has nothing to do with patriarchy or matriarchy. That's why she said be a judge first. That wasn't the, that's not what she said at all. She said when the real world starts getting more equal, then we'll let you in. That's what, that doesn't. The script is from 1983 and they never updated it. It's been in post for decades. I don't know if that's real or not, but you know what? Here's what I'm going to say. You guys, you know what? I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad Chad is getting over the uh, super mad about me having an opinion on this. That should really reflect poorly on you. I'm going to say this. I didn't like the movie. I found Ken very funny. I found aspects very funny. I found the message to be extremely uh, overbearing. And I feel like the movie ultimately suffered uh, because the, the message became far too overbearing for me to enjoy the movie. If that pisses you off, if that makes you mad, you need to work on yourself. If that frustrates you, you need to work on yourself. If that makes you want to get super defensive and attack me as a person, attack me as a human, you need to get off the internet. It is that simple. Okay? My opinion is my opinion. The movie wasn't that great for me. Honestly, didn't like it that much. The message became a little too much for me. Too not interesting. Too surface level. Unfunny. Not entertaining. Not insightful. I didn't leave the movie thinking. I didn't leave the movie laughing. I didn't leave the movie crying. So, that's just my opinion, bro. Eat my fucking dirty ass. What do you want? Uh, it doesn't make me mad, but the judge was being the same as the real world people. She said, you start as a low-level judge first. Fair. I, I didn't take the joke that way, but I get what you're saying. If that's how you took the joke, that's fair. Um, can we all agree, people who liked the movie and who didn't like the movie, can we all agree that um, the ending was kind of weird and awkward and not funny and like, what? Do we all agree that... No, you liked the ending? Oh, I hated the ending. The ending was so just like, huh? I hated the ending. I hated the ending. The end was hilarious. I don't know about that. Uh, I guess, you know, maybe we just find different movies funny. Maybe we just find different movies funny. <laughs> it was funny. I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know. I liked it. Okay, spoiler. Three, two, one. Spoiler. End of the movie. End of bar movie. Who cares? End of the movie, she becomes a real girl. And um, she, she ends the movie by going to uh, the gynecologist. And that's how the movie ends. Concealed added the Kin Club Premium for over 300 orders and professional for the newest line. Discord. Thank you, Concealed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, not going to lie, I cried at the end. You know what? Isn't that the beauty? Isn't that, isn't that what makes movies so fun? Is that you can go see a movie and walk away interpreting every aspect different than me. And... What's really cool about it is you don't have to fucking hate me. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? You can go and, and you can leave stream and you can wake up tomorrow and you go, oh, fuck, I don't hate Wubby because he didn't like the same movie as me. Isn't that crazy that you have the power to choose to do that? You have the power. You have the power 
to not intertwine your identity with a Barbie movie to the point where if I criticize it, you don't have to feel criticized. That is a powerful tool you have. You know that? You have that in your arsenal. That's in your back pocket at all times. You don't have to identify with media so strong that it becomes part of your personality. You don't have to do that. That is a, that is a, that's fucking impressive, boys. Uh, I thought the, the casting was great. The acting was overall pretty funny. The daughter was annoying. The mother was annoying. The set design was awesome. Ken was hilarious. Margot Robbie was fine. She was good. Um, but I'm literally Ken. Bro, poor Ken. Ken broke my heart, dude. Ken got so shafted. Ken was just in love. He was just in love. Why did Kenroy tweet this out? Kenroy, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that shouldn't... You don't do that. Don't be tweeting that shit out. All right. Movie was good, though. No. All right. Do you guys want to hear a joke? Well, um, comedy portions were fucking hilarious, but are uh, yeah, so right. The end started feeling like I was scrolling on Twitter. It, exactly. That 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 could have summed up everything um, I was feeling just like that. I'm looking up a joke. OK, we're going to break the ice with a joke. Would that make you guys happy? <clears throat> You guys want a joke? I'm looking one up, so we're going to go in this raw. I'm just going to hit it. Oh. I'm not going to read that. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send this... Why is everyone so quick to defend a toy company's movie pretending their image has been about women empowerment? Mattel plastic bootlickers. That's another aspect that I, I heard brought up. I don't want to get into it because, you know, people are, are, are kind of over to this point, but yeah this movie ultimately ultimately is goal you have to be honest with yourself is to sell plastic and to make very rich people even richer let's be real that's the purpose Mr. of the president movie. wubby is getting a second joke so there is this there is this weird irony of defending it because you're super woke it's like you know this movie is the representation and every second every frame of this movie was approved by mattel this movie's goal is to get you and the brand it's to add value to the brand barbie it is, and boy is it. And any company that big, you know there's some fucked up shit. So, all right. Um, like, yeah, it's like, ha, it's so crazy to me that the movie criticizes capitalism. Like, this movie was made by Mattel. This movie was made by Mattel. You're gonna talk to me about capitalism. You're gonna talk to me about capitalism. This movie was made by Mattel. Um, all right. A man gets called that his wife is giving... Okay, guys, this is a... Okay, hold on. I am about to read a paragraph-long joke. All right? I don't know how it ends. I don't know how this joke ends. I'm going to read it right now. Is this if the at any joke? If at any point it gets too bad, I'm going to just stop talking. Okay? I'm going to change the subject. You ready? What's some good joke background music? Bible what, thump, one hundred Bible thump, one hundred Bible thump, one hundred Bible thump, one hundred Bible thump, one hundred Kappa, one hundred Kappa, one hundred Wubby. Poop poop, fart fart. My name is Jeff. And what is your opinion on the potato famine of nineteen fifty four in Dublin, Ireland? Okay, so here it is. Here's this joke. Here we go. All right, I'm not gonna play penis music. All right, you guys ready? I haven't read this. I'm not claiming this joke. I'm reading this right now. A man gets, a man gets called a call that his wife is giving birth. All right, you following? He races to the hospital and eagerly waits in the waiting room. Eventually, the doctor comes out with an odd look on his face. What's wrong, doctor? Is my baby okay? Is it a boy or a girl? The doctor looks up at him. It's a damn miracle. Your baby is a miracle sir he says the doctor leads the man in the room where the baby is laying soundly cuddled in a blanket God. your baby can float it's amazing watch the doctor lifts the child up a couple inches from the bed and then drops it and nothing happens what are you doing says the man let let me get my child and leave no 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 you have to see this it did it before 
He picks up the child. Oh my god. I'm not gonna keep reading it. I'm not gonna keep reading it. Oh, okay, I'll keep reading it. The child hits the floor, stands up, pulls a cane out and a top hat. The, the child dances, singing hello my baby out of the room. The doctor and the man high five with their biceps bursting and they go, they go, I love every gender. And then they pull out top hats and canes. <laughs> and the doctor hates women. What can I, what, what do you want from me? Boo. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine. The, the, the end of the joke is the doctor goes, oh, don't worry. The, the baby was already dead. You should have seen the look on your face. That was how the joke ends. You happy? You happy? So the baby float or not? The, no, the baby doesn't fucking float. The baby never floated, Ash. Are you stupid? Actual Barbie enjoyer. Incredible. Insane. Literal Barbie enjoyer. <laughs> when does the joke start? All right, we're moving on. 90 day or pick minutes. Your call. It's your call, baby. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, the problem is I just, I don't have a high enough IQ to enjoy Barbie. Um, 90 pick. Hey, can we get up? Can we get a pull up? Can we get a pull up? Irish Lumper. Almost got your Twitch baby ready. Thank you, brother. Thank you for all the laughs <gasps> over born, the years. Be Keep born. it up, bud. Be born. 29 months of Zip the Potato Thief. Zip. 30 months holy Wait, how do seven. i get rid of this how do i delete this message can i get a kiss boom papa? 90 or pikmin oh here we go okay i'm gonna vote 29 months watching pay money wubby i think you the part wubby is it. missing here we go i'm a gay man thanks to wubby and the team for if we didn't while you guys are voting i'm just gonna read the subreddit if we didn't highly regarded for lift if we didn't live in some semblance of a patriarchy we wouldn't be fighting for women's rights to this day did i make it did i what who is this for who are we talking to who oh, low shit. iq I, man hates all movies great reviews from Dum Dum. I love your seller. I'll take, but I don't remember what it was, Wubby. Thank you. Uh, topics discussed so far. Arguing and more arguing. Not a great start. What do you mean? Bro, oh my God. Oh, RDM, shut up, you little fucking diaper baby on the subreddit. Bro, the whole the whole merch thing was so fun. Oh my God. You little goo goo gaga diarrhea dumb dookie. Please for the love of God, Pikmin. I think I might. I think, you know what we could do? We could do a little bit of both. What if I play Pikmin in a small thing while 90 days up? <laughs> what if I play Pikmin in a little... <laughs> Can we do a sub only poll? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just try Professional to see. Tag so... for Discord requested. Is this you requesting now? I need as much stimuli as I can get. It's a zoomer stream. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's see how this would even work. Give me a second. Give me a second, you little you little simp. Was somebody putting the all the Margot Robbie uh timestamps of when her feet are on screen in the Barbie movie? You know Quentin Tarantino had front row tickets opening night for that shit, bro. And you know I don't blame him. <laughs> you know I don't blame him, you know? Pikmin deserves your full attention. Um, maybe. Maybe it does. Pikmin is racist now, dude? Well, now, boys, you can't hear that and not want to play Pikmin. Just ignore Pikmin and 90 Day and play Call of Duty Zombies instead. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, boys. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, there it is. The, are those really the time? <laughs> is that really the time stamps, bro? Her feet are in this film. There was a scene where she was face down and her grippers were out. And I was like, damn, if I was a foot guy, this would be a lot of feet for me. But I'm not a foot guy. So we have nothing. We have nothing. Nothing. To... Wait till you see the Pikmin movie. You will feel so ick. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to touch Pikmin for a bit. We're going to touch Pikmin. And I just want to see if it's even worth playing. I'll put on AITTS. We'll have fun. We're going to play Pikmin for a bit. If it's, if I'm going to give it a try just to see, just to see. Oh, what, look at that. Oh, no, no, Wubby. Bro, we're just going to see. Okay, we're going to see. And then, and then after, 
we'll do 90 day. Or I can make Pikmin tiny. And I'll just play it in the corner and you guys can watch 90 day. Fuck. I'll just take off my cam and mic. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just, you guys could just watch it and I'll just sit here and play Pikmin in the background. Nero, thank you. We, why does it say joke zero? Who, 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 why is it saying joke zero? I don't find that funny. I don't, I don't find that funny. Who, who's zero joke? I've made at least a couple jokes. First joke. <laughs> or, or you guys can watch me play Subway Surf. Okay, everybody just, Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start Pikmin. All right, we're gonna see how it goes. Okay? Okay? Can you guys hear that? You guys are saying your votes don't matter, but you don't understand something, chat. You don't understand something, okay? I'm gonna watch 90 Day tonight, all right? Don't turn this into a man versus food thing again. We don't wanna go there, all right? Pikmin is near to- look at that little blue motherfucker down there. Are you seeing him? Although he has the face shape of a red. <gasps> Press any button! I, well, I have so many choices here! A. <gasps> Game progress? What is all these words? Two player. Okay, here's what we're doing now. We are we are seeing if this is something we're gonna play with Alex on stream. He's going to fall in love with this. So, all right, I'm making a roll. Every Pikmin that gets killed, I'm gifting five subs. Fuck, I shouldn't have said it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm Never matter. Chat. Do not fool yourselves into thinking the green man cared about our preferences. Oh, shut up. ドルペン。ペ、デブリ。今ラストドルマストソンドステリ。おお。ウェラスマケルシパリポスラパー。Do you guys want me to read it to you? I have no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Wubby, I'm three. Hero. Hey, I played this before. I'm gonna, I'm Pick gonna skip. Man. Of course he won't play pick women. Didn't know my streamer was actually <laughs> Gus the Abuser Johnson. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I'll never, you'll never, I'll never be caught dead playing pick women. I, is this game inside of a house? Bro, there ain't no way. If this game's in a house, I'm gonna take my- <gasps> I'm gonna jerk off on stream! No. Ah! Something about this area is a different from I've, the I've, uh, others. never played a Pikmin game before, but I need to know. Does this game got titties or nah? There's gonna be titties coming up. There they are! There they are! Look! I love the noises they make. I want to put them in my butt and hear if they echo. By the way, for those who don't know, Pikmin are very, very, very huge. Why oh, you scared, little man? Come here. Bro, they're on, they're on pillows! I've never seen a Pikmin in a home! If this Pikmin game is in home, I'm gonna fucking scream, dude! You know how I many years, bro? We've been in gardens and shit for years and sewers! Why is there a dead Pikmin counter? This can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. Oh, no. I'll have to call him back while I search for the missing ship parts. Who's the dog? I did skip the, I skipped the last Pikmin, so there might be some lore missing here. Does he have sex with the dog when he gets lonely? Oh. 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 Oh, yup. 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 The onion's acting strange. Hey, been there, brother. Been there. I woke up this morning ripe. I saw some of the pigment head this way. Well, all right. They could be hiding behind those things. You can charge, bro? 
And we can jump. Oh yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. I don't choke this. I can now use B to call them back to me no with chokes, my whistle. No, no <gasps> they hop on. Are you kidding me? Bro, this is what I want. When I have when one day I have a family, okay? I want this is how I want us to roll up to like the San Diego County Fair. I want my big fat obese wife. I want to ride her and I want my little children to grab onto her like a little like a little spider monkey and I want to roam the fair like this dude. I wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hit in the first place. True. Better make note of my voyage log. What else is in there? You know what? Let's record it later. No, no, I'll save future all any trouble if I record it now. Why did it why did it give me Hello? Why did it give me the option? <laughs> no. I uh, know I should do it now actually. Bro is like actually attacking my my insane ADD laziness. I'll deal with it later. No, that's hurting future Wubby. You're gonna do it now. Alright, let's get it. Oh, there's so many more controls now. Can I throw Pikmin from here? <gasps> Gave you the option the same way you did with the votes. <laughs> and, and, and you know, and you know, I'm not complaining either. You guys are funny. Don't look, don't look before you leave. Okay. Let's do it. Just stand still. Why? What's that going to do for me? I, 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 I'm having fun. Look at his toes. <gasps> He's got beans. He's got little paw beans. Look, you can see him a little bit when he runs. I'm gonna turn it up a bit because you know, you know, I want you guys bumping this shit in your house. Okay, I gotta grab the blues. Come here, come here. Bro, he can hold so many. <laughs> I'm fucking gay for this game, bro. Pikmin is timeless. It really is, dude. What am I supposed to, am I going for something here? How do I jump again? That's how I okay. I think this is gonna elevate me. One good rush could break those. Break what? What? Oh, these. Oh, oh, oh. The pots, thank you. Whose house? A movie is based on a little girl's toy whom has held every prestigious job ever, whose boyfriend is merely an accessory, said, Eeb, you boys! <sighs> Why is anyone surprised? Also, Pikmin, 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 Pikmin. Watching you play Pikmin gives me the opposite of ick. Oh, they're playing! Well, who am I to interrupt? Who am I to say stop playing? I'm their fucking god. Thanks. Get so over! excited to see Pikmin and not Gabriel's wacky ways we got inflatable work. arm flailing yeah. tube man gorilla penis. These fu these little slave fuckers think they're above me. I have intelligence, I have power, I have speed. Quit fucking playing! Fix the screen sizing, Poppy. First off, don't ever talk to me. A little bit better there. I got you, bro. Okay, 90 day now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can put 90 day up on a really tiny screen. Just let me fucking for a minute, please. Do you know what's up there? How would I know what's up there? Can I just rush it? This thing is goaded, dude. I don't even need Pikmin. I got this dog. <gasps> okay, I'm calling it right now. Would I'm you calling... like to be called Lil Pup instead, Stushy? Yes. I'm calling it right now. This here's what Pikmin 4 is going to be about. We've clearly, clearly broken into somebody's home. 
They are going to have a small, sick. Does Captain hold on. Olimar have to write Bonnie on his foot now too? Okay, well, there's gonna be there's gonna be a small, sick family dog. At one point, the Pikmin are gonna surround it, and they're gonna fucking kill this family dog. The rest of the game is gonna be about hiding from the family after we killed the family dog. We're gonna have to, there's gonna be a whole burial scene where you're in the in the in the garden, di every, every Pikmin's digging. I'm tired of digging. That's too damn bad. And fucking digging, digging the put the dead dogs in there covering it with dirt the family comes home you from the inside of the house you're listening to the to the through the glass and they're sitting there and it's like where's 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 little ruffenstein what happened to ruffenstein it's not that far off oh, oh oh buddy i can't wait also not to mention i'm just gonna say it why who why is this on their table am i tripping uh, or did you used to have a cat called rupert did i used to have a cat called rupert i've had two cats called rupert a creature I don't see hey, any chat, shit. Hey, chat, it started. He's getting attached to them. His numbers are growing. We all know what is coming. In before they all get killed in one roll, flattened Pikmin. Regret. Okay, I'm watching how to fight this. They'll all will be fine. How? Why would you let some sort of demon like this in your fucking house? Look at this thing. It looks like a hemorrhoid. Oh, I know you guys were wondering. My hemorrhoid finally cleared up. Hey guys, I love Pikmin and their cute little sound. My favorite sound is when they go zip. Oh, die! 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 Wait, one died? No, it didn't. The Interstellar Radio, let- Bro, I just saw Interstellar 2. Let's go. It went to yeah, that fucker went to hell, dude. Rib <laughs> yeah, we just killed the family pet. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. That's the game. What do you guys think? No, are we gonna leave the house? No. In the spirit of a positive driven stream. So Why are you saying obese when stream goes? I already did write. I, I I submitted a request to the FCC. Um, hey, chat. Wubby hates you, and we will never watch Ninety Days again. Only Pikmin forever stream for the rest of time. <laughs> Don't be mean. Let me play a little longer, would you? Please. I'm having fun. Are you not having fun? I couldn't finish playing Pikmin 1 because leaving some behind end of days was genuinely it, it, too sad. No, I agree. It's, Unironically it's soft boy. It, no, I agree with you. I do not claim this energy. I'm uh, the Wait, what? What is happening? What is What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening? I didn't know this was happening. Don't let me leave, Murph. Oh, don't let me leave. Don't let me leave, Murph. Don't let me leave. Don't let me leave, Murph. Don't let me leave, Murph. Don't let me leave, Murph. Home planet of Karoot. I don't know. That's a little. I don't know how I feel about that. Yes, sir. Oh my God, we're on a rescue mission. Funko Pop looking ass. What do you look like? Why is he so black? What does that mean? 
Holy shit. Everything is interstellar. Are these the illegal aliens my grandparents keep talking about? Stop. Sorry, I was watching the <gasps> No, I don't want to be back in the garden. I've son, been just in the wanted garden. to wish you rots of ruck with the Pikmin stream. What? Oh, I don't look as good at game. Oh, fuck. That's bad. No, that's not good. That's hey, bad. son, feel free to play your game all you want. Don't let a bunch of nerds ruin your fun champ. Why do you run like that? Oh, that, that thing can't carry my weight, can it? I'm too fat. If my character gets on top of this thing... Ochi! 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 Deep. I'm not actually the voice. Oh! We rescued the pup! Fuck yes! Look at this Avengers lineup, dude. If I can ride him. You think the lungs are in Omar's ass? <laughs> God, I wish. Wait, this is what Nicole looks mouth like mouth waiting like for Wubby to watch her story. She just wants to be heard. Nicole say D. I don't know what you said, but thank you. We found someone in need of rescuing! Chat, I'm gonna make that you, okay? For everyone wanting to watch 90 Day and or Sam's, don't worry. We are, in fact, currently watching it. In the fourth dimension, you need a two 7K dimension TV to watch. <laughs> Isn't this a song? Black and yellow? Damn! Look at that boy! All right, buddy. All right, I see you. You are valid. All right. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Okay. Aww. Uh, is that you, Otachi? Hey, Wubby, did you ever get a chance to check out those wireless yeah, failover routers? Wubby yes. 7... God, why? Kopchi. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than a captain. Get fucked. He listens to me. Actually, chat, you're going to be Ochi, okay? I should probably introduce myself. I'm C Colin. <laughs> Bro looks like a Colin. Communications operator for the rescue corps. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's a Colin right there, straight up. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Space bark. Your character boy, looks chat. just like you, Wubs, even as your tiny eyes. Does it really have tiny eyes? My path got cut off a small well, landslide. Omar's giving me my first dick. Like a burnt Oliver tree. <laughs> it's pay money, what? isn't it? I couldn't be more grateful for you rescuing me. As mentioned before, I was the one who sent an emergency signal. Okay, oh, no. buddy. Yapping, bro. I saved you. I don't care. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I've spent days sleeping out here. Bro, you could have done anything. There were six officers on the ship. We got separated. Oh, no. Oh, no. We came here to find Captain Almar, whose own ship crashed only say Okay. They suck. It's almost embarrassing. It is embarrassing! I confirmed that our spaceship SS Shepard has landed somewhere over there. Bro, you didn't even investigate it? Oh, I couldn't reach it on my own now that you're here. Okay. I see. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way! Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official rescue tablet! Chat, you're on slick. What are they saying? Press up, okay. What's Chad doing? Wait, what's Chad doing? What are they what are they doing? Is it is the what? Why are we in the garden? I don't know. From every time I've learned. My friend right Jove likes to place Pikmin gently in his bum. It's weird, but I still have to love him. Hashtag friendship. I know what Chad's saying at this point. All right, get me out of here. I don't, I don't care about it. They really want you to watch something? I have an idea. Chat, give me one second, okay? Just give me one second. Okay? Give me just a second here, okay? 
Nobody move, all right? Hey, Wubby, what was your words. favorite Halo 3 custom game? There is a correct answer. Fat kid. No. Some kind of hide and seek. I got you guys, okay? No, Hold on. I got you guys. Just everybody wait. I'm going to officially make everybody happy. Okay? Just give me a second. I'm gonna make everybody happy, okay? I'm not capping. I just end stream. I'm gonna make everybody happy. Would you ever play Call of Duty Zombies so you can just chat with the crew, like the poker streams? Yeah, also, I what's your do favorite that. map of all time? F I don't know. Uh, at this point, I don't know. I real. Uh, I have to. Look. I'll tell you when we do that. Okay. All right. Hold on. I like both. I just like to spam. Hold on, guys. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. Okay. So if I do this. Previously on 90 Day Fiance, the other way. I'm excited to see my man, Osama. Finally, I miss you so much. This is the moment I've waited my whole life for. My angel. Tú qué piensas de la cirugía, de la erección? Yo no necesito porque es, es bien. No quiero más grande. I went through this long traumatic experience with all these surgeries, you know, transitioning, and it just feels good to be with somebody that accepts me. Todavía estoy nerviosa. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta skip. Uh... Dude segments, uh, out of fear. All right, here we go. Can go be a maid for your family. Maybe you will take to <laughs> cover your hair today. I'm not covering my hair ever. Me and Nicole are going to my uncle's house for Whoa! some advice about this idea to start our own business, making clothes. You say you don't want me anymore because I won't wear the clothes you want. You. I hate it when he does this. He just like takes all the power and leaves. I've had enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wonder how long no, no, before no. we find out that the Pikmin have a secret and crippling pain pill addiction. No, 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 no. Wait, is that in the show? Does someone in this cast have a secret and, and crippling pain pill addiction? Don't skip. I'm sorry. I, I already told you guys why I'm skipping it. It's because he continues to show, like, just too much. That's going to get me banned, unfortunately. Swap it. I don't want to swap it. I don't want to swap it. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to do Every 10 uh, dead Pikmin, we crack a case. Uh, it's a good night for do. a few CS key bumps. Here, oh, oh yo, chill. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what I, here's what I'm gonna do to solve this problem. I am just gonna play Pikmin on a different day, on a non-stream day, so that way we can everyone who wants to watch Pikmin can enjoy Pikmin. Okay. The poll was one. I understand. I'm not gonna scam you guys. I know. I know. If the poll went any other way, I would definitely agree. But unfortunately, the poll went that way, and I don't want to be scam any wubby. I like seeing both. I understand you like seeing both, but I can't do both. Um, and I actually am fine with watching 90 Day, so I'm gonna watch 90 Day now. Okay, thank you. I also think gaming, I'm fine with keeping gaming on a day that's like an off day for the most part. Pikmin is good, and, I'm okay, and I like Pikmin, and we're gonna do Pikmin on this stream, okay? And that's fair. Wow, I'm and not in final. Kansas anymore. And if you guys said Pikmin, you would have gotten to see just now that monkey penis, you know? Well, I'm offering you an additional stream. I'm offering you monkey penis. I'm offering... Come on, guys. It's a win-win, all right? Monkeys and cows and... I thought she was going to say monkey the penis. cows and the pig Ugh. at home. Rishi and I decided to go someplace quiet today so we could really talk through some of our issues. Maybe we can just, like, uh, sit uh, for a moment here and... Uh... Yeah. I Going love through his wife training the other day confirmed to me that I... 
definitely don't want to live in a joint family, and I told that to Rishi right after we left. You impressed me. I'm glad I impressed you. Yeah. But I can't realistically live in a joint family and feel like that's going to work for me. Ah, there is a lot of things to think about. I think it's a topic to discuss at another time. Well, let's think about it. How is your feeling? Bro, so, the dude, all the conversation about like the, the Barbie movie shit, and then we go right back into this. And this lady just went through wife training. <sighs> like, you know, I came here and things didn't go exactly as planned. And I'm thinking about these things. Crazy. And it doesn't seem like you're compromising on much of anything. And I gave up like my whole life in the US Poetic. To, to come here to live. And it's just been, it's been really hard for me. And I don't think that you understand that. We face a really hard time, but we are still together. We are sitting next to each other. And whatever it missing till now, I'll give you every emotion. It does kind of look like Grimace right connection, now. Connection, everything. What can I do for you? What are your thoughts on after we get married, not ha live in a joint family? <clears throat> it's not a small thing like to live separately from the family. Why do you like skip the trans part? I, 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 chat, I trust you guys. You know why. Someone explain to this person. I'm not going to... There was already that person on the subreddit who was like, well, he's anti-trans because he's skipping the trans part. I, I keep explaining it, and I feel like you seek, you, you're you seeking something where it's not. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's because I'm adamantly opposed to trans people being on the stream. Duh. That's what I was saying. A big deal to live separately according to the Indian uh, culture. That's why uh, my plan is uh, you can just uh, come and live with us. Let me ask you this. I mean, is that something, is that like a deal breaker for you? Because If I can finish this episode really without yapping so much, I'll play Pikmin after it too, okay? But I don't trust and that myself. I, wanna do, I just don't think it's a good idea. This is what's my like a uh, first choice where we can like live together where both the family are like happy. I love you, but I also Bro, have to love living with myself, my family. take care of myself. It is to me, it is a very bad idea. I know you. You did a lot of things. You moved here for me first, so. I'm trying to do for you. You have to try to start shit. Yeah. <gasps> He's saying yes. So you'd be willing to live Bro's compromising? With your family? Yeah, I can. Whoa! What the fuck? This guy's kind of going on me. I appreciate that, and I, I hope it's true. I mean, you say that, but I don't know. I don't Breaking know if I tradition. You. If your family said we do not want that to happen, is that going to be an issue? Are you going to say? You think it's empty words? Might be. Mom, family, deal with it. Or are you going to be like, well, I don't know, Jen. Maybe this isn't going to work out because my family's upset about this. Are you prepared to say, well, I don't care what you guys think? Yeah. I'm prepared already. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe him. I don't know. It's going yeah. to be a big yeah. issue for my family to accept that yeah. I will not live with them because uh, this is the culture where I am <laughs> living. Kevin. Jen is the only woman that I risk my relationship with my family because I love her. Good but night. to face my family, it's a really hard thing for me. I don't know how I will do this. I live separately with my family. But I just want from you a little more compromise. So like what? give me a time like to talk to family. And I want to like spend time together and uh, 
I just want a little more time, like, to tell everything to my family. How long have they known each other? Like, years? But they've only been I together for a short amount of time. I will agree to wait until the summer. Yeah. For you to tell them. I'm hoping that by agreeing to this, that you will keep your word and not Thank make you, a fool of me or just string me along. I'll make my word in action. I'll take care of everything. And, um... We'll make the things better. Since Rishi agreed to live separately from his family, a lot of family, chat speculation on I'm how her pussy stinks. A few months Wild. to talk to Wild. them about us, because I do love Rishi and I. I want to give us a chance, but I only have four months on my visa, so the clock is ticking. And I just hope that I'm not setting myself up for more heartbreak. That pussy broke a thousand years of tradition. <laughs> it's probably made in the lab, bro. Like to be. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Someone said PS4 exhaust? What does that mean? I like that. What can you can you elaborate? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The drama. It's loud? <laughs> what is that? What are you saying? Hello? She got a loud pussy. Everyone knows good pussy smells like PS4 fan exhaust. I, I guess I don't know what good pussy smells like. PS4 exhaust smells like pussy? What are you guys talking about? Hold on. Is this a thing? I need to blow the dust off my PS4. I just want to smell her again, you know? Great pussy smells like the P. Why are so many people saying this? That's crazy. There's an old meme. I have no clue what you're talking about. Osama! Are we almost there, you think? I will almost end up, I think. Yeah. I just you really arrived in like Morocco liked her. and I feel like I'm home and that everything's gonna be okay. I really miss you. Right. I just miss you more. I missed you too. It's like I feel safe, secure, happy. It's like I'm young again and everything is bright and the future is like for us to take and to do good with. Okay. I can't believe I'm just sitting by Osama <laughs> like this is normal style. Oh yeah, yeah. People be you're like, in a cave. This is, this is my new normal. Yep. My strange new normal. <laughs> Look, Osama, there's some cows over there. Ah, uh, yep. It's beautiful, too. Yep. Uh, when we go to our farm, there's two cows and a baby. A baby Don't be cow. mean to him. Okay, he's, he's been nice yep. so far. I'm going to be Farmer Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> They're ready for milking the cow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do that. You will learn. Osama and I plan to stay a couple of days in the capital city of Rabat. And then we're gonna go meet he does mom nice. and dad in Chemiset, which is about an hour. I just don't so know. I how hate when he gonna... closes his yeah, mouth. Mary. There is still a side tooth and escaping. Then move back to Rabat and get our apartment. Y'all have no chill. Has reached a new level this time. Imagine oh, yeah. moving across the world for Here's a guy that looks like a methy street about. magician. <laughs> I know that we're you. both when gonna have certain expectations from each other. When we get married and I'll be your wife, what will you expect your wife <laughs> to do or to act or? Uh, well, mm, first, like, I want you like to be like half Moroccan woman. What does that mean? Half though? of a Moroccan. What's home? that mean though? Like a cooking food. Ah. Uh, my my clothes. Yeah. Something Barbie like movie. This. Yeah, traditional uh, roles. Traditional, yeah. But when we go home, we will know. What do you mean? Barbie moment. Because in the home, we will try it. What you talking about? In home. When we go to oh, the home. Oh, we're going to practice at your house? Yep. Ah. Practice cooking food. My mother will love you. What is wrong? These well, people, we man. Act like you are a Moroccan woman. Ah, uh, yeah. But it's different about you if you have, I mean, if you have patience yeah. to do this. Yeah, I, I'll guy, try. Because you know my welcome woman woke up. Okay. You know, can I say something? Just, like, maybe hot. I'm going to say it. Me 
the the Barbie movie even playing to our audience shows how great we have it here. You know what I mean? The fact that there's even conversation, like, you think this movie? Do you think the Barbie movie would even like? I could see if you were to play this movie to some of the dudes and their cultures on this show, they would probably protest the theater, boo, walk out, boo, scream. Like, it's, isn't that, like, it's so interesting. Like, it's a privilege to even have it, right? You're looking at this, it's so casual for them. That I get like, away from him a lot of the time. To, to even have, you know what I mean? He, he's so casually being like, oh, you're here? Well, it's time to start your woman duties now. It's like, what? Yeah, I've yep. worked hard my whole life. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's like the cooking thing might be a challenge, but I'll try. It is okay. easy to learn. Yep. And um, oh, sometimes we can get taken. Why do his eyes look too. in two different yep. directions? Yep. Yep. Stop yep. with his and eyes, bro. We, he's a weird looking guy. We fucking, how do you look? This guy's been nothing but nice. We can okay? or can't. We can. Can we sneak it? A little bit sneaky? But we'll be lying. Well, I don't want to lie to you, yeah, Pierre. This is the point. I got you. Yep. Oh, no. In Morocco, in Islam, it's got it like when you bring a wine or any kind of drugs in, uh, inside the house, it's like make the angels go outside of the home and make the devils go inside. So I don't bring alcohol inside the home. When I want to drink or something, I buy it and drink it in another place. As I respect my father and my, my mother, I respect the uh, home. Then she makes me breakfast. Well, we'll see how that goes at mom and dad's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go there. Bro's got that Why, candlelight Osama, mindset, at this bro. this time, are you saying I need to become half of a Moroccan woman? You weren't telling me that Osama, stuff before. More like, oh, saw everything. It's like I Debbie was every good and once. fine and dandy for you. But now it's like learning how to cook and clean the Moroccan way. I need to be half a Moroccan woman. This was never a part of the plan. You know, I don't know what I'm getting myself into in Chemiset. Oh, I shouldn't have moved Ooh. to Morocco. I what need was, a drink what? just thinking if about it. If only there were warning <laughs> signs. If only I had a, a son who begged me not to go for the first six episodes. You mean Morocco isn't Hello. the same as LA? The past in the future. You mean Morocco's different <laughs> than Orange County? <laughs> Whoa, 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 he's spitting. Did you yeah. hear that? It's got a certain... In English, in English, she's like, oh, how do you do? In, in Arabic, he's like the most... Oh, no, 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 it's so sultry. He, he, he brings it in when he's speaking his native tongue. Gotcha. I see what... I see what... Oh, man, I get it. Genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's got it, the house of flowers. House of flowers. It looks mysterious. Kind of a high knocker. It, I mean, seemed really high up there. Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, we're the right place, yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you? How are you? Welcome to Riyadh Dar Zuhur. Thank you. Uh, do you have a reservation? Uh, yep, uh, maybe one half a reservation, yep. Okay. Mm, two, two rooms, rooms please. Two rooms? Okay, yeah. no. Or, yeah, he's just very room. short. Double, yeah. Double, yeah. Double, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, you're right. Morocco, me and DB, we need to sleep like different rooms till we get Which married. half of her would you want here. to be? Moroccan? That's fine Top and or dandy with Miss Debbie. I'm not answering I mean, that. We're already like, you know, Bottom. overwhelmed with seeing each other and our ideas and our plans. I don't need that. So I show you the rooms? Okay. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of rooms. Thank I saw you. eight keys. Not a lot of rooms there. This is someone's house. Wow. Oh. Look at this place. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I told you, it's like a forest inside the hub. Exquisite. You know, the Riyadh is located in the old historic part of Morocco, and it has a wonderful inner that's really pretty. courtyard with trees. Oh, that's not and the room. That's like the courtyard. And around that separate rooms and living quarters. This is where quarters. baby Jesus and his family Exotic. were turned away. Let's uh, go to see your room. Okay. Wait, what? It has a feeling of like, an adventure. Wait, wait, wait. Is it like a shared? Okay, that ain't right. Romance and intrigue. It's like it's a like shared all space? All those things are my new reality, and I'm loving it. I'm happy she's having fun. 
can you be a darling and go get the suitcases, please? Sure, we don't, uh, we don't need to ask about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Aww. You know, it's, what's interesting is I've noticed about... <laughs> oh, no! Little bro! Little bro! Can you little be a bro. Never mind what I was get saying! The suitcases, please? Sure, we don't, uh, we don't need to ask about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I bet his eye's gonna Arita. be fixed now. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that hurt, no, that hurt you so bad. He just got clotheslined, man. <laughs> oh, God. You know that shit hurt, too, dude. The closest I've ever been to giving up, like to giving into the pain, and I'm not dramatic, I promise you. I, this is bigger than anything you've ever been through. Um, a, like, low-level cabinet, like a cabinet, like a like a kitchen cabinet, low level one, lo one that's low to the ground, but not all the way though. Bend down. Uh, Debbie looks like something. she's going to collect so many dope crystals. In the Bend down to pick something up, and then go to stand up, and the corner of the cabinet right into the center of your head as you're standing up. I had that moment where I'm like, I should just let the pain overtake me, and I should die. I should die on the floor here. It's a, it was, it's so bad that you have a moment of like, well, you you never do it again. You're, it's not gonna happen twice. Right? Yeah, I'm like, I'll just, I just won't get up. I'm gonna lay here and die and let it, let it completely overtake me. Jesus wept indeed. Anyway, so hitting your head hurts, okay, guys? I know, groundbreaking. I know. Anything else you want? Man, I'm so invested in the Osama story now in the show. I want to see more. I need more Osama. Oh God, this. Okay, never mind. I'm back here again. She's faking all her ailments or whatever. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And here, water and candies. Candies, perks. Chris wake up today, too much pain in her neck and her back. The doctor gave a shot, but no work. She is no better. Baby, today it's your dinner for my friends, and I know you feel so bad. Yes, I want you to go. Are you sure? Because I feel bad. Yes, I'm sure. I'll message you if I need you, baby. Okay. I have planned my friends, Alex and Leo, they <laughs> meet my girlfriend. You got chat is mean, by the way. I just read it's what you guys are saying. Me, they meet <laughs> Fuck me, bro. You guys are they brutal. They practically is my only friends in here in Bogota. Someone said used car trader in. I'm like, feel bad. That is so. I don't like the idea. Go and she feels so bad. But Chris say you go and I I think is she needs time for relaxing and rest. <laughs> You guys really think it's withdrawals? I don't know. I'm not qualified. Oh, that's going to give me so much diarrhea. I'm eating that, though. Yes, sir. No, no. Now, here we go. A bit of a, a little conundrum here. A little tongue twister for you guys. It might be hard to decide. Do you think these men are gay? Kind of hard. I don't know. No, I don't know. That, those are straight men. ¿Qué pasó? Chris tiene cuatro accidentes automovilísticos, una cirugía de cuello pendiente. O sea, entonces, obviamente, las horas en el avión, el caminar, los, el carro, todo le ha afectado muchísimo y el dolor Bro que tiene en la out of his mind. y en el cuello la están matando. Wow. El doctor la vio, la inyectó, pero todavía el dolor está. Is she crying? Oh no. Me imagino que, o sea, como tú dices, por el viaje. Sí, y sí, también el, el, el wow, oh, sorry. Es increíble. I muted it. Ay, buenas noches, ¿cómo estás? Muchas gracias. Perfecto por acá. Oh, 
Si nosotros estamos acá como que ya sí, viene. Y, y bien, cuando te veo entrando sola, yo dije, no llegó, se repite. No, no, si llegó. Watch her actually have neck pain and you guys are asshole. Yeah, yeah, you're color. right. You're right, that's possible. I don't think we'll ya know, though. Ya que la vamos a maquillar. De punta en blanco para el día de la boda. Sí. Pero, falta obvio. poco, ¿no? Pero. Ay, no. Bueno, Nada de peros. They're Yo siento que Chris tiene un problema bungle, you know I mean, en sex. Alabama, Because they are un gay. robo de una okay, motocicleta de su papá. We got it, gay. Resulta que ayer recibió un mensaje diciéndole que le había llegado una citación oh, de la corte que tenía que ir a declarar por lo del robo de la motocicleta. Entonces, ¿Cómo así, bro? Es, no sabemos todavía, mañana nos dicen que realmente sí, sí o sí no tiene que ir. Entonces... Lo que ella me dice es cambiar la fecha de la boda. Porque justamente no vamos a cansar el 21 y se tiene que ir el 20. Well, bro, she's bedridden, so it doesn't even matter. I think, I think that... Ay, no, pero eso está como raro. Yes, that's my gay brother. I agree. I agree. I agree, Cuando sorry, I agree. Se tiene que ir un día antes de la boda. Solo pienso en está huyendo de Jamie, no se quiere comprometer, no quiere estar con ella. Cuando la conoció, She's no sé perks, qué habrá pasado. Bro. Y pues como que ya me arrepentí, vamos a inventarnos esto. No, that man speaks gay Spanish. Oh, you gotta take it too far. Me preocupo que se vaya y después me salga con que, ah, no, entonces es que ahora no es el esto, ahora es el otra cosa que en vez de ser esos días, terminen siendo una semana, un mes o para siempre. ¿No crees que sea como una señal de que no tiene que pasar? Son muchas cosas. Bro, it was her dealer who texted Obviamente her. Obviamente no es un, un cuento de hadas, <laughs> pero no, somos obvio. una pareja y, y la quiero y siento que tengo que, quiero apoyarla, o sea. Creo que Jamie sí necesita abrir los ojos. I'm not going to make that claim, but I'm, I'm suspicious. Mi preocupación por I'm suspicious a little bit. I think something's going on eh, that she's not being clear on. Afectada, pues, con el corazón roto. She's lying a junkie. She's probably eh, not even gay. Crucial. I'm sorry. Ya mañana tendremos otra conversación. Veremos si ella se tiene que ir, si se puede quedar. Okay, someone just said something and I need to know if it's offensive and I need to know if me somewhat agreeing with it is also offensive. Someone in chat, I'm reading chat, said, yo, the gay accent is the same in every language. Now, hold on. Why is that true? Why is that true? I'm stranded for my doubts. I think it's very strange. She tell me right now, I need to go for Alabama again. It's not offensive. I don't want to offend any what? gay but people you, in my chat. I've just, I've never thought of that. You a few days. It's very soon. And I'm trying to believe her, but it's difficult. There's a gay comedian with a bit of about Como it. Digo, no okay, sé we're si good. Ella ya se ha desaparecido en el pasado. Quien me dice que quizás no se puede so, desaparecer uh, does that ahora? Mean they don't like the smell of PS4 exhaust? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, not all gay people are repulsed by I... the opposite uh, gender's genitalia. Some some are, sure, but not. Oh, I'm sure there's some gay dudes out there who are like, oh, that PS4 smells an awful lot like pussy. Interesting. <gasps> yes, it's the best couple. Here we go. Get ready for some, some abuse uh, Middle Eastern style. Early today, me and Nicole have a big fight and make me feel like I'm not the right man for Nicole. You guys are on top. I'm American. Man. I'm Egyptian. He can be with someone he don't care about the clothes and he don't care whatever she do. Yeah, wait, yeah, so he's like waking I up. I make her life more hard. Oh my God, he's beginning to believe. Oh my God, he's seeing. But I still love him. Oh, the I'm blunder. Sorry, my love. This way. I don't know if I keep trying to keep Nicole or let her go. Let her go. Don't trap her. Let her go. Okay. Do it. I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's not the way this works. You don't just get to like. I. No, I love I, you so much. You're not sorry. You just want it. 
You just want this whole conversation to end, so. Me, Momo, too, hi, Decker. Because I don't want later to be you to be like, just go, just go. I, like, okay. I don't want you anymore. I can't be with you. Just go. Yeah. I didn't say just go. Like this, I, need to I have to pee go. so bad, I Chad. No. I have to pee, guys. I have to pee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ow, ow, ow. Here's a, a fun fact about uh, women, or fuck, sorry. Here's a fun fact for the ladies that you might not know about the dudes. You get to a certain age where you go use a urinal in like a public place. And when you hit cross that age, uh, you stop caring. And when you're peeing at a urinal, it doesn't matter if there's a dude right next to you, you'll just become a king ass ripper. You'll just start like like dudes at the urinal at a certain point will just start blowing it out their ass. You in there, bad boy? Sorry. Oh. You did. I said I don't want to be with you. I know what I said. So what does that mean, Mahmoud? I'm just mad, Nicole. You know I, what? Just, Seeing oh, Nicole I mean, is like you're still playing Pikmin. She got the same body build. <laughs> <laughs> just words. I didn't mean that. Just words, okay. Whatever, my whole, I'm just like, you can't play games with people. I don't play games, Nicole, and you know that, okay? You are the biggest game player. Why are you with me this all time if I'm playing with you? I These women move across the world and realize the romantic culture boils down to cook the man some fucking eggs. True. True. Okay, I need to stop fighting. Can we? I love you, and I'm sorry about what I said to you. Okay? I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, still not like uh, thrilled with you. Like, I mean, I, I just like, I don't know what to say. I don't know if he meant his apology. I know I'm still angry. Just right in front of I his mom. I feel unwanted. I feel confused. And I feel ashamed that we're fighting so much in front of his mom. I know it hurts her. I don't think I've ever felt worse. His mom is that. At my work, I saw a salesman at the him. urinal pissing 18 inches away from the urinal, ripping ass and what texting on his where. phone. I never. Like, I don't know how caring about what I wear has anything to do with loving me. It's like, okay, maybe for you, it's nothing for me, it means a lot. I say, care about this, oh, I still want to be with you. And I never want to go. These people are in a time loop, bro. This is the you only conversation they've had on camera. Home. Mm -hmm. Just like here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. That's so all. I will go. Answer him. Okay. Hello. My sister Helen is. Before me and Nicole fight, I told my uncle okay, we will come to you to talk about some advice for our clothes business idea because my uncle have his own factory for a long time and he have a lot of experience. Why would you say that, bro? We go up like respect my uncle like as my yeah, You gotta not do that to your partner, yo. Just being like, oh, sorry, I held up my bitch of a wife. That's crazy. I never around my dad much because my mom the first was my dad that I was so young and my uncle take care of me like one of his kids. The old Hello. ball and chain. I was don't want to be mean or rude, so we have to go. He's no man. He wait yeah. uh, for us long time, mm -hmm. so we can go because they still waiting. Uh, I'm not really in like any kind of a mood after you know. I know, but they still waiting. I don't. Me either. I don't. But we have. Oh. Uh, <sighs> 
Well, then I just need to change my clothes. Okay, honey. Bro, she is wild for ironing just right on the bed. That's a, that's a bold Can't move. Change. If this fight happened well, in America, I'm sorry. there's no way I would be going over to see anybody, but not my family, not my uncle, not anybody. But here in Egypt, oh. it, it's much different. I respect the uncle enough. Like we, if we have, you know, an appointment to go to the uncle's house, I don't want to be rude. Well, that's very nice of her. And I don't want them to think anything's wrong and ask a bunch of questions. But I'm still mad, he and so then I have to go her, and pretend like everything's okay, and, you that. know, just act as if I'm happy all the time in my marriage with Mahmoud. Things are great. Okay. No. Maybe she should have waited at home on this one. Who the fuck? No me gustan secreto. Oh no, 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 no. His penis is just gonna be on screen any fucking second, dude. I swear to okay. God. Wait, why? Yeah, so back when I was transitioning, uh, they put a hole right in my asshole for me to piss out of. Which, okay, here's a photo of that if you wanted to see. I don't care if you wanted to see. Here's a photo of that. Here's me on the toilet. Here's my hole. Here's what I can make a talk. <laughs> We're in too deep. We have to keep skipping it now. We can just pick it back up. Well, you know what? I'll Spoiler alert. They all lived happily ever after because uh, trans people are people too. Okay, there. Here's my post-op penis. Yes, we can. That's right. I'm just skipping. I'm sorry. It's safe. It, it may be safe, but I'm. we had to start skipping, and now that we're skipping, we can't just come back in. It's going back to your country. I feel like I want to throw up. Oh! We have to. Oh! Oh! There's drama! There's drama! There's this drama! Work. Oh, there's drama unfolding. There's drama unfolding. They just really get their hands in everything. Man, ooh. Indian music playing. Guess where they are? Guess where they are, chat? Detroit. Yeah, that's Ohio. After Rishi and I talked yesterday, it feels like our relationship is finally getting back on track. But now I have to leave the country in a week. I have a four month tourist visa in India and I'm required to leave and come back every 30 days. What? What the big, that God, the amount of travel, the amount of expenses, what? Uh, my God. All what right. in God's name? Good evening. Good evening. Have a seat. Thank you. Damn. So Damn. I have never in my entire years seen a more professional, legit looking attorney lawyer office in my entire life, bro. That man is also clinging to that hair. I mean, you got to know when to, to pack it up. And we are, we are about 15 years past packing it up. There's nothing wrong with balding. There's nothing wrong with going bald. There's nothing wrong with shaving it all off. What there is something wrong with is what my man over here is this guy over here. It's literally like comically the oh, Homer Simpson. I'm going to meet with an immigration lawyer. What's to there? See what? What oh my God. It's Twiddledee and Twiddle fucking dumb. Oh my God, bro. Bro, that's absurd. Bro, that's not okay. That's so bad. Nearby I could go to and how long I need to be gone for. Jesus Christ, dude. So what brought you here? Um, so I'm Fuck. here in India because of a relationship. And from what I understand, I have to leave the country so what brought every you here? 30 days. Speak. And I'm approaching my 30 day mark. And so I need to figure out what I need to do. Okay, which country are you from? I'm from the US. Can you show me your visa? Yes. Yoink! I don't know. You're mine now. So I've been thinking about going to another country instead of going all Speak the way woman, back to from? America because I have a fiance. <laughs> it really is. What also, the fuck do you want it's, attitude? Um, it's not as long of a journey. 
Okay, and you wish to stay here, like forever or? Um, inshallah, I would like to stay in <laughs> India forever. Uh, <laughs> what about your fiance? Uh, when are you going to get married? He said, inshallah. Well, what he said. He doesn't even want to tell his family that we're engaged until like the summertime. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's like that so, then. Okay. Oh, it's like that uh, then. Okay. The situation is not pretty flat. And as I oh, have checked like in then. your visa, once when you leave this country, you have to apply for the tourist visa again. I Fuck this. <laughs> Lady, you deserve that better. The e-visa was a multiple entry as long as I left every 30 days, but no, no, it's, it's a single one entry. Single entry. See, it is written over here, number of entries, single. Man just wrote that in. Wow. Once when you step out of this country, this visa becomes invalid. Oh. And what have you done? Wow. Okay. It was uh, pretty much written up front on the visa that it's a single entry, 30 days visa. <laughs> she, she didn't, didn't have any <laughs> I feel this is a crazy American behavior. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm more than happy to make fun of her. But when you make this American, I'm back on her team. All right, buddy. Look who's fucking talking. Holding on to those whiskers. Okay. Listen. It, never mind. Never mind. I was going to be as mean as he was, but I'm not going to do it. I mean, you're coming to India, get married to her fiance. Oh, he's right. But she didn't know when is she going to get married. Crazy. Oh, All right, we get gosh. it. We get it. You're right. No, you're right, um, actually. That's our fault. So how long do you think it no, might right. take he's right. if I reapplied for a visa to get it approved Bro, now? Just get the dude to the Your States. Just marry him. Tourist visa. There are so many pending applications. We don't know. Oh, so the safest God. option that we have right now get married. is going back to your country. <sighs> But I did go. I left for like two years, and I just got just came back. See, we, this is what it is. You, we cannot change the situation. This is probably the worst news yet. It means that I will have to go back to the U.S. and get a new visa, and who knows if I'll even get one. I need someone I'm to explain to, to me why he doesn't travel to the U.S., they get married, and then he just stays in the U.S., and they do that. I'm not understanding why they are insisting on going to India. Come back to India as soon as I thought. This situation just oh, feels Oh, because he won't hopeless. leave for his family. Ooh. It's like I'm banging my head up against the Ooh. wall. Hey, hey, cut nothing. your losses, lady. Cut your losses. Anything that's meant to be is not meant to be this hard. Like, Wait, message what? received, universe. What? That's not how that works, lady. What? I don't agree with that at all. Okay. Oh, the hardest things in life are, are the, are the, are the, are the be best. Gaining rights in India also. Like, have yes, you ever, you... like... Like, uh... Like, uh... Like, uh... Like crab legs, or like, uh, or like when you were a kid and you'd go to the fair and they had those geodes in the stones and they would take it and they would crack it and it would be like all these little crystals. To have a established stipulated date. This is for a joke me. number two. When you're going to get married, <laughs> then things would have been pretty much different. We could, would have been able to help you out. But as of now, I can only advise you to go back to the country. So I, oh, I'm, I'm imagining it only works if I'm getting married quick. Very nearby. Very near, okay. So roughly. Like tomorrow. Yeah. What are we talking? 15 days, 20 days, you know. That's scary for me. I was just, you know, reunited with my fiance. I'm just not ready to commit to getting married in a month.
I think I thought I was. But then you're going home, lady. I mean, that's it, right? There's no other option. You're I feel on like your I want to throw up, actually. I just feel really sick right now. Yeah, we didn't want it to sugarcoat it. Yeah. <laughs> he, he could not be bothered, bro. My biggest need right now is more quality in-person time with Rishi. Appreciate your help. No, no. Good luck. Thank Jennifer. you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. And now we have to, what, go back to a long-distance relationship? It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. It's like... Ooh. Well, at least she's keeping it, it together. <laughs> I feel really dumb right now for not having just looked more closely in my visa. Well, take some sauce in the fact that you are dumb as fuck. <laughs> I just feel like maybe this is just God telling me that this is not the right relationship for me, that I need what? to just stop that trying is such to God. make this work. What a dangerous person to date. Something's hard, so this is the universe telling me that I shouldn't do it. Yes, it's God's fault. Holy. What is that? Oh. I would like to apologize. Um. Oh, Nicole looks so mad, dude. Okay, we are here. We're so late. <laughs> We're so late, you fucking imbecile. Aywa. Aywa, hey. Mahmoud. Omar, big Omar, Bigo. What's up, Omar? Yeah, kiss the ring. Let him in. I feel good. We gone to my uncle's house and my grandma and his wife grandma! and my cousins here because like what's I'm so it me and grandma got a lot in common around my family nicole going to get like relaxed because she have like people around and after this we go back home fine like nothing happened today That's uh, not me, huh? how are how are you Speak. uh today how are you doing you can see the arabic uh oh yeah i can yeah you know arabic <laughs> i can do this Amle. Alhamdulillah, I'm glad to hear Amle. I'm play I'm replaying The Witcher 3 right now. I'm actually not gonna do it. Should we hear first? We can talk about your business idea you have. Amla uh, Tasmat Mugheza. you have some design here? Uh, What's it? Okay. So they This is so they're so painfully awkward, dude. His beard is crazy. Mental. Yeah, so my mom? My mm. yeah, she doesn't know what I that. He was in the last interview with the some of the models that he made. My uncle asked why you choose this kind of clothes to do. Uh, well, because uh, Mahmoud likes me to cover my body. Bro and looks in annoyed. America, that's not really normal. And so when you go to the store, all you can find are shirts that come down to I'll here, that's, short uh, sleeves, one of the crowns you have tank to tops, 10 lines up to here, even shorter sometimes like this. And I can't find it other way. And then in the summer, when I go to put okay, the clothes this, on, this oh, sorry. For me to <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> أنا فكرت في كده ليه إن محمود طبعا سألني إن أنا لازم أغطي جسمي كله وده بالنسبة لها هي بتروح هناك مثلا في أمريكا مفيش الكلام ده مفيش إن هي يمشي للمسلمين أكتر يا إتس فور إتس فور مسلم ومن فور أني بادي هو دازن وانت تشوف أني سكين عشان كده هي فكرت إن الفكرة دي ممكن هتبقى أسهل إن هي مثلا هتصنع حاجة تانية ممكن لغيرها كمان نفس الفكرة لو في ناس برضه دي تبقى فيها نفس العبايه بس نظام بنطلون دي برضه دي فيها الكلام ده من البدايه حلو لايك هاو عندي مصنع ملابس فكرتها هي كويسه ان هي تبدا نقول فكرتها كويسه ان هي تبدا في مشروع زي دوت وهتبقى كويسه جدا في لبسها ان شاء الله يعني لان هو ده حلو جدا للمسلمين يعني طبعا هو اللبس دوت 
كمسلمه او يعني خلاص هي لازم تغطي شعرها لازم يبقى في طرحه لازم يبقى في حاجه كده ايه؟ عينيكي ماشي؟ اتس اباوت يو دي انا بسبب ليه هي دي لغايه دلوقتي ما يعني احنا قلنا مره لما تيجي يبقى في طرحه تلبسها اي نو سكاند اوف هيرز بس ماي اونكل هي وندر اباوت حجاب Why? 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 Why it's okay, huh? Yes. Ay, 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 ay. Slow jabroni. Thank you for the five, but ay, 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 bro. It's just like, it's just not it, man. It's just not where I want to be, you know? It's not something I want to be involved in. When Mahmoud's uncle changes the subject to why I don't cover my hair anymore, I don't answer because what I really wanted to tell them is that religion is very personal and it's nobody's business why I'm not wearing not here, lady. the veil anymore. So I don't not here. Be Beyond that, I'm mad at Mahmoud and I don't even want to be here right now. محمود اللي برضه كان ايه يعني ايه يعني عشان انت لازم تعرف ان احنا مش عندنا لازم غصب حالا دلوقتي يا لايك يعني هي واحده واحده بس لازم هي تقتنع ان هي لازم تلبس اشر بس لازم تلبس لازم تحبه اول حاجه I speechless bro what the fuck yeah brother what my man Omar got nothing to lose Omar out here like Mask off does not give a fuck. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Omar does not give a shit. He is telling it. He doesn't care. He talk about, yeah, you have to do to, like, as Muslim, you have to do, but, like, because you the American, me, I have to be, like, not ever have, like, yelling at you or, like, give you fight about it. I, I don't have to do such. <laughs> من جنابيه بهن أي عرفنا فلا يؤذي لو ما أسلمتش خلاص ما عليهاش حاجة يعني هي ممكن هي لسه على دين المسيحية وإن كنا لسه مسيحية ومحمود الجواز ما فيش عليها حاجة هي زي ما هي وهو على دين لكن طالما هي اخترت الإسلام وأسلمت يعني بتبدأ تتعلم ده مسؤولية تعرف الصح من الغلط إيه اللي You're saying fair Egyptian point? Egyptian Uncle Phil. I don't think it's a fair point. I don't think it's fair. I don't think being Muslim means you have to wear a cover your hair. I don't think that's what that means, chat. I've I had Muslim friends growing up. Uh, my dad being Middle Eastern was around people who were Muslim my entire life. And I don't think being his words were in because she converted, he has she has to do it now. I don't think that's what that means to be Muslim. That's a misconception. In Egypt, though? Right, but then that's different. The boyfriend seems more like a saint compared to him. I, I see where he gets it from, dude. This dude's an old frog. This guy's the old guard right here. You know, at, well, never mind what I say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he said like, as you become Muslim, the most thing is important is pray. This is she's the most not religious thing. at all, right. though. I don't know why she's doing this. I feel like this. number one for Mahmoud is uh, clothes. Mahmoud <laughs> Nalo. I'm told like, I'm talking in Rakam Muhad and Mahmoud lips. So. No, 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 no. I never said you don't have to pray. No, you never said. I need you to teach me. I feel really, really uncomfortable because I'm having a bit of a crisis of faith. Mahmoud never forced me to convert to Islam. That was my choice. But sometimes I get confused because I don't know if it's actually like Islam that I'm having a crisis with or if it's like Mahmoud's rules. They kind of get like all mixed up together. If I bring that up in front of his family, who knows what would happen? You're gonna catch some hands, lady. Uh, uh, 
وانت اللي عليك الدور الكبير بقى يا ماي اونكل از رايت از ام هير هازبند ام ذا وان هاف تو تيتش هير هاو تو براي هاو تو be muslim in a way but like the like, uncle will have me in the first half every time he opens his mouth he has me in the first half it's like oh respect respect it's just it's just tell i just can't get over like telling someone you have to do this like that's where it's just like what, what? i have a lot of stress because i don't want to push here about everything like i push here about clothes and i can't see she had it now the only thing i don't want to nicole hit is like pray He said, I have to teach you first before I ask you to do anything. Mm -hmm. I have to let you know why. And because you never grow up with Muslim family, so you don't know or anything. Nothing, or what. Know This is why I have to be so careful with you. Mm -hmm. I have to teach you with a nice way. Mm -hmm. I still don't know how to tell Mahmoud that I'm questioning my faith uh. and whether or not it's, it's right for me. Uh, because yeah. I think it would jeopardize our relationship. It's already like teetering like on, on the brink of collapse, right? And yeah, that's not good. I feel like my marriage would be over. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing though, right? It's all, it's all um, fun and lighthearted and a choice. But what if, I want you guys to ask yourself, and I don't know for sure, I'm not making a judgment, I'm saying, Ask yourself to, to give an opinion. If one of those ladies in that room stood up to Omar, do you think it would go well? Yeah. That's, that's, that's where I think the issue comes with saying, it's, it's a difference, it's a difference. I feel like if that woman took her dress off and said, I'm not doing this anymore, Omar. I don't want to do this, and I don't want you to tell me what to do. That happened in the States, right? You know, not always. I mean, there's pieces of shit everywhere in this world, but, you know, normally it's like, oh, what? What are you doing? Uh, no, 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 let's talk. I don't know how that would go for a woman like that there. Uh, we here? Bro, don't speak a lick I of English. I found out that my visa is only good for one entry into India. And that means I have to leave in six It wouldn't have. Hold on. So this is interesting. It wouldn't happen in that culture. It's a completely different thing. You have to wrap your mind around a completely different perspective. I don't know what would happen. I'm not saying he would beat the shit out of his wife. I'm saying, I don't know. I, I'm interested. I'd be interested to see if the woman in that scene who was fully covered, if she took it off and said, I don't want to. Oh, oh, Omar, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm curious to know what, what would happen. Like, it, I don't know. I'm not making any assumptions. I actually don't know. From what I'm seeing, I don't know if it looks good. But I'm, I'm I, I, there was a dude in my chat who, who posted on the server last time who said, I'm in Egypt. I can offer perspective. What would happen? Tell me. I'm, I'm interested. Hey, it's when my time is up. Hi. Hi. How's you? I'm good. How are you? Bro, what are they doing? I'm so mad public. At myself for <laughs> These not dudes are just watching. This over with a fine tooth comb and going through every single line of that visa. Do you want I'm some still playing Twilight Imperium. Do you think yes, dude. Be allowed to wear Wubby Cat Girl land. merch? And I'm really worried now. about what that is going to mean for our relationship. I didn't mean in public. I'm sorry. I thought I meant they're having this like heartfelt moment and these little street vendors are just staring. Just right in front of their little yes. shop. <laughs> they're literally doing it all right here. <laughs> so I have to talk to you about my visa. So okay, do none of these people do any research or planning? No. About Converting religion without knowing what it means, getting a, a visa that you don't understand, no status, zero language or culture. To see what my options are, if I left, how long I needed to stay gone. I'm sorry, but the dude just standing there. He's like, I appreciate that you bought a drink, but like, you're really just doing this in. <laughs> And they even framed it. They know, dude. For uh -huh. and <laughs> it oh no, I want to be him. How I planned it all. Um, the guy essentially said that it is a single entry visa, and that I've used that single entry. Oh, gee, um, Willikers! I feel like an idiot because. 
I don't know. I, I should have checked it better. So the immigration lawyer said that right now, because of just the situation in general with COVID and the laws, um, that he highly recommended that I go back to the U.S. And I don't know how long <laughs> yeah, it's like, going to be like constant before honking, I can dude. come back. God willing that I get a visa. She wanted to say inshallah you know. so bad. She wanted to say it, dude. That's why she laughed. Oh, she was right there, too. I just feel like if I go back to the U.S., like, it's just, it messes everything up because I'm going to have to face my family, my friends, and she's them, running like, away <gasps> oh my god i just got new perspective on all of this the people wanting to go there are running away from shit oh my god i thought of why would anyone want to get out of the u.s and go to these like third world places i get it she just kind of opened it up to me a little bit i'm so stupid she's like running away to stay it's gonna be hard for me to motivate to come back here That's crazy. You meaning like a, that uh, you might be like not come to India when you leave now? He got there. He got through it. Amy, it's a possibility. <sighs> I hope we will make it and I don't want to lose you like just because of that <laughs> visa and all. Damn. What is this honking? Really hard to find. Can this Stop. guy not go no. back to the U.S. because he might have to learn how to drive with rules? And okay. All right, more, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The worst thing Christ. is it's really hard to find you. I do really love you. I love uh, you too. Oh. What do you think the shopkeep feels about it's all It's really this? heartbroken moment for me because she is leaving the country. Yeah, but you can run away to like a different state, maybe two <sighs> states. It's really hard to spend time True. separately True. again. It's a very worst thing going in my mind. Do I need to like wait again for years? I already know it's going to be extremely difficult legally, but also there's a lot of stuff that we need to work out. Yeah, our planning was like that you come back soon and then uh, we spend more time together and Rishi's just thinking about the zip line it. true best time to talk with the family and then we'll go further exactly but this news like ruin everything I know I'm sorry like It's just so frustrating because it's like two years. <laughs> They're still going here. Through this. Oh no, Rishi! He's thinking about his kite. I just feel like it should be easier. Bring it in, big cat. Bring it in. Oh, little bro. Come on, little bro. It's okay. It's okay, brother. Oh. We did a long distance relationship for the last two years and it was nearly impossible. There were times where I thought we were done. And this time it's gonna be harder because this time I know that his family might pressure him into an arrangement. Bro is still just there. Oh, yeah, he needs a no loitering sign for real. Marriage. I have no idea when <laughs> I'll be able to come back again. And I just hope our love is strong Bad enough bro. for this relationship to survive. Does she really love him, though, if she can't muster the energy to reapply for a visa again? I, that's not what she's saying. She's worried it's going to be a while. Whoa, right in front of the shop, too. God damn. I moved mountains to come over here. Osama. And now you're, you're telling... Osama, I moved mountains, Osama. I mean, Osama. this is a two-month... I moved mountains, Osama. Osama, yes. I moved mountains, Osama. Osama, Osama, 
I moved my. <laughs> you boarded a plane. I know, right? Whoa, street candy. Osama. Whoa, she actually looks pretty there. Good for her. He's gonna go check his head. I bleed. I, I'm bleeding from the ceiling. That is an aggressive wall. This whole. Oh my god, it's overwhelming. I'm. I'd actually have anxiety in this house. Look at this. Okay, that's a lot for a bathroom, but okay. Walk out of the bathroom. Oh my god, the bedroom. Oh my god, every single wall. I'm panicking. Wait for it, wait for it. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm too not equipped. I love them walls. It's too much, bro. It's too much for me, for me. This is it tonight. This is my first day in Morocco. It's been a big day. Bitch just put there on the amulet, dude. I want to talk to Osama about tonight. It it vibrates you know, with power. I want to talk to him more about, you know, the time frame of staying Jesus with Jesus Christ, mom and that dad thing, dude. Because I want to yeah, get she on just with gave our lives plus and 10 our stamina. plans. You know, She's like, this I is for give tonight. Up my whole life in the United States and my comfort zone, you know, to live with mom and it's dad the for an indefinite period of time. It collects souls. Oh, it looks so nice. Do you like my princess yep. dress? This is nice. Bro, for all we know, she got some rocking titties under there, chat. So you need to throw some respect. How are you kind, sir, this evening? Wow, I feel like a child. But, you know, still have some energy. That's a lot of J.O. crystals. Well, all I can think about is her son at home stewing and punching yep. air. And <laughs> True. <laughs> discuss our plans, because there's In a couple of things I want to sleep talk to you about. Rooms. Yep. Because otherwise, we you know, know how we're going to your mom and all night. dad's house. Yep. What should I prepare? Should I prepare to stay a couple of days or a week? What do you think? For me, you can stay all Imagine the time you trying want. to navigate that house. You can stay one month, you know, two months. I mean, in why the, isn't the he looking at her? <laughs> well, that's wonderful and generous of them, <laughs> and and I'm excited too. But I don't want to impose upon them, you know? Like, I'm thinking, like, okay, I need kind of a time frame because, okay, once we go to mom and dad's, and then we need to, like, start looking at apartments in Rabat, too. For the apartment? True, sci -fi. I think we need to save some money because it will be, it will be expensive for us here. For now, I mean, we can stay in my father's home. Uh oh, and there is she no don't like that. There. I mean, she don't like that. As you will stay here like two months or one month, and after you will leave to the US. Because I know that she will come back for your business, for your home, you know, for something important. Right. I'm kind of confused at the point. It's like, you say I'm going to be here two months at your mom and dad's house, and then you want me to go back to the States? Ah, uh, yep. You want me yes. to go back to the States? Ah, uh, yep. And then um, when do I come back again? <laughs> well, I think just... Uh, I mean, come back when? When? This is a decision of life. First, you have to know my family, how they uh, are, yep. how they live, the tradition. I never, I mean, spend like uh, two months with you in the same house. I mean, we have to know each other so deeply. And after we will get married. I... Wow, Osama. I wish you would have told me that before I, I came. Uh, we have to spend some time in reality. Uh, I mean, he's right. Wow, her eye makeup really just... He's right, but she should have definitely been told that. 100%. I don't get it. I'm, I'm totally she was confused, misled. but you know, I don't like what I'm hearing. It, it makes me feel sick. Him telling me, well, we need to live two months in reality together. It's like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? We've been in reality for over three years. Oh, no. I would have welcomed Osama saying, okay, Debbie, I need you over here two months before we can see if we're a good fit for each other if he'd have been upfront about it. But right now, this isn't the Osama I knew. I don't know what <laughs> Osama this is, but it's uh, one yeah, I don't like. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, 
Here's the deal, Osama. I'm, I don't miss the old Osama. I moved mountains to come over here. Here we go. I oh, hurt no. my kids. <gasps> I had okay. expectations and I believed oh, your word to me oh, that you boy. loved me and oh, we were to get married. <laughs> and now you're, you're telling me you, you're not going to marry me and this is a two month test drive? Because I need yes. to live with you in reality to see if you accept me in reality, if me accept you in reality. Well, why couldn't you tell me, gee, Debbie, why don't you come and I'll see if I can accept you in reality or not? Why didn't you say something like true, that? True, true, Because if I say to you this, he wouldn't just come. Then that's fucked up, Osama. God, this is worse than Well, how do you 11. think I feel now? How, what, what do you think it's like to be sitting over here looking like a fool? Why didn't you say, Debbie, don't pack all your stuff? Why didn't you say, Debbie, slow down? It's because, you know, if things go good as we will, we'll get He's married. so upfront with how, like, bad, like, he just doesn't care. He's like, well, yeah, you want to come, so I, well, of course. Indeed. You Osama really been screwed lying? up big time, Osama. <laughs> Why? It's like shame on you. Why? Because Why? I said the truth. <gasps> uh, we just oh. want to get maybe to feel, but we have to be in reality. Bro. After three years, you have the audacity to say that Mr. President, the second three plane has hit the towers. social media, not in reality. He's I've... not. Dude, dude, like, it, the, the reality of Objects him. Objects be crazy. The, the, <laughs> exactly the point I was getting at. The reality of his upbringing is kind of coming to light right now. Bro does not think he owes her shit. Unfit. And he stands there unfazed. I mean, does, he just doesn't care. Spent enough time in your reality. I know that you feel hurt. You lied to me. No, it's not a lie. You lied because to me. Because I'm still, I'm still want to marry you. You know what? I don't believe you anymore. I still you, love you as, you. as the first time. I mean, there is nothing changed in oh our love. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't believe you. Holy fuck. I'm using a tremendous amount of self-control. I'm trying to keep it together I without wringing his neck. anymore. Last year, when I was in Morocco, he was ready to marry me. He was rushing me to the U.S. Embassy to get the required paperwork. But then I come this time, it's like, what happened to him? What happened Honestly, to Debbie? my Osama? Dip. This was my Prince Charming, and I'm starting to see somebody that I don't even know anymore. You know, you've taken away my confidence in you. My expectations were you were going to man up. And now all of a sudden you've changed your mind. A man's word. Do it, Debbie. Is supposed Use the amulet, something. take his eyes from their sockets, and steal his soul. <laughs> are you are we watching the same show, dude? Obviously, I didn't know you as well as I thought. I feel sick, man. Bro's not keeping it real though. I gotta be honest. He he definitely it sounds like he lied to her. That's a tiny door. Still to come on 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way. We didn't see him at all this episode. Finally, I'm ready to enjoy my new life in the Dominican Republic. You ready? I'm ready. Today is my waiting day. I'm so excited. Is she wearing a neck brace? <laughs> whoa, whoa! She is crazy, but I love her because I'm crazy too. Yeah! <laughs> Rishi, jawab de yaar. Oh shit. Aur tale sal ki hai. Oh. Kya soch ke kiya bhai? Oh. You know what you will wear, sure. You know how I feel about that. I don't know. I didn't know what dressing modestly truly meant until the first time I wore a swimsuit. <gasps> And I am trans. Ah. Tu tuviste relación. Oh. Son muchas faltas de respeto de tu padre. Oh. Daniel le gusta hombre con pene grande. Oh. Did I hear that right? 
have met a version of my husband that I Whoa, what the fuck? Like. I'm afraid that this is the person that he really is and he's been hiding that for the last year. I mean, yeah, he's really he's a he's a child compared to you, to be fair. It seems like yesterday I got to see Jamie for the first time and now I'm having to go back to Alabama. Oh. Bro, this show's popping up! Oh my god. Why would you send a girl a picture of you half naked? Ah! I just skipped them reply. Nothing more than that. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassing this is for me? Ah! I'm so ah! And I'm questioning my judgment. I'm questioning everything. I don't understand why you're doing this now. Leave me the f alone, Mark. I'm trapped in this craziness. I need to know what I did there. I don't even I remember. Just leave me the alone. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of it. Every single second picking on me. No, we're not watching another. No, 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 no. We gotta save it. We gotta save it. We're gonna save it. I hear vacuuming. What the fuck? This show stresses me out. G Finnegan, let me tell you right now, brother. Same. What a fucking nightmare. Oh my god, that was intense. That was intense. It's the lizards. Whoa, is this merch fan art? This is cool. Look at this. That's awesome. Uh, all right. More. Nah, nah, we're going to save it. This is good. Because also it's Sunday night. Okay, a lot of people got work in the morning. E West or East Coast boys are already done for the night. But we're going to get to a point where West Coast people don't even want to watch it. Um, My fellow Americans. Yeah. Tonight we witnessed the most heinous and tragic event perpetrated by a man named Osama. Never forget. What is this post, dude? You know what? Just wait. Oh, this is the post. This. this is the top of the subreddit right now. You know, I'm just going to say something about this. This, this. <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm done. You know what? I'm saying it. It's official. I am officially. I know this is going to cause a lot of controversy in the, in the Wubby fandom. I'm officially retiring the movie reviews. I'm officially retiring my movie reviews. I know. I know. People everywhere are going to be sad and horrified. I know. I know. I have to. I have to. I have to. Because there's a nuance that can exist in Twitch. I know. I know. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Oppenheimer. You know what? I will end my movie reviews with Oppenheimer. Okay. Thank God you have terrible takes. There you are, chat. There it is. There, there, there you have it. Actually... No, that random non-sub just made me think, fuck no. Fuck all, fuck everything I just said. I'm going to review every fucking movie every time I see one for like over an hour now. No, fuck all that actually. I just realized, no, hold on, wait, I, that, that's just, there you go. <laughs> because it, if it pisses off random non-subs, then that, that works for me. Well, but you're confused. I'm sorry. Hold on, Alex West me. She said, no way, bro. Can I, I'm going to call her. I'm going to ask if I, no, wait, she's, I can't, I can't call her right now. Can, can I read that out loud? Debbie was out here tonight, like Usama bin Lion. You guys, let's just say this chat. You bought so much fucking professional merch. You bought so much professional merch. It's embarrassing. I won't say the number, but you guys are so... We took a subreddit meme and turned it into profit. All right, guys. The merch, the professional merch is available till 6 p.m. tomorrow, and then it's back to normal merch. Uh, remember, guys, we have a $5,000 film contest that is still going on. You have until Wednesday. Okay? No late submissions, or you will. we will not accept them. The winner, which will be announced on Wednesday, is going to get three thousand dollars second place gets fifteen hundred dollars and third place gets five hundred and i'm gonna tell you guys right now if nobody submits we only have like 10 submissions right now i think most of them are gonna come by the end of the day on wednesday or tuesday but you got good odds right now if you're interested in film at all 
I remember, okay, when I was in college, Tuesday night at midnight, 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 or Wednesday morning, whatever it is. Um, whatever, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. It's fine. We have time. Don't worry. Uh, I just submitted. Let's go, bro. I really have. I I want. I want you guys to put effort into this. That's why I put up uh, such a high cash value without a sponsor. I want you guys to care about it because I want to do more of them. So, uh, make sure we do it, please. Tuesday. Can you repeat the specifications again? Specifications. Specifications again. What are these titties? Um, on the subreddit, there's this pinned post. PMW Film Contest is at the top of the Reddit right now. PMW Film Contest. That's everything you need to know. You still have time. All right, everybody. I will see you guys. Uh, we hey, have... can you combine shipping with both of my orders? My email address is zip. Good night, everybody. I love you. Be safe. Tomorrow, tomorrow, there is no Magic Monday because tomorrow we are playing a game of Twilight Imperium, and it's Alex's first game ever. Don't and worry, Ash's chat. First I will game never ever. stop reviewing movies on stream. I know you all are entertained by my garbage taste in films. Don't ever forget my hate for John Wick 1. I like the other John Wicks, though. I thought, was that really a bad take? <laughs> Tomorrow's my birthday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Happy birthday. John Wick 1's not good. Like, I'm sorry. And I can say that saying John Wick 2 and 3 were, were bangers. I like John Wick 2 and 3. Abs actual bangers. John Wick 1 is boring. John Wick 2 is great. Dude, there was this, I haven't talked about this yet. There's a scene in John Wick 3 where the, he keeps getting thrown through glass. And I was like, all right, this movie gets it. This movie gets what it is, and I'm having a, I'm having a great time. It was so fucking stupid. You're annoying? That's okay. You can feel that way. I, I'm okay with that, actually. The first one's good. I didn't like it. Um, the hair's amazing. That's what happens after stream. All right, do you guys want to post? Do you want, you want, here, I'll, 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 all right, stream's over. Oh my God, I'm wearing Playboy merch right now. I just realized. I just had that moment. Oh my God. You want cases? Dude, it's just chill now. It's all quiet. We're just vibing now. How's everyone doing? Hello. Yeah, I wore it to work. CS cases? We can just talk. We just hang out for a minute. How's chat doing? Chat, how you been? Hey, someone just bought the merch again. That's embarrassing. Still in the gym? Yep. I'm going to be going to the gym soon here. Why are you gifting subs? Five gets you 10. Thank you. Nero, thank you. Appreciate the subs. We're just chilling, though. Nothing going on. I just, I don't know. I relapsed it after three years. Hey, man, look at this, right? Okay, you relapsed. Listen, okay? Zoom out. Three years. One dip. Okay back on it all right you still have three years of progress you're not where you were three years ago you're where you are right now you got it it's not about never making mistakes it's about getting back on the horse okay zoom out you're good stay focused talk to someone do you have a sponsor or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called talk to the person who'll help you all right it's okay that you messed up coke is good as fuck though stop stop you know i can't disagree Recovery is not linear. You got this, brother. Man, that right there, that's a well-spoken individual. Uh, 1,100 days sober? Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. This is his moment. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Jesus loves you, Wubby. Then why didn't Jesus give me a big cock? How about I answer that one? Where's that in your fucking book, idiot? Thank you. You got a big forehead? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Well, I can live with that. I can live with that. Let's just keep talking, chat. I'm just here to chat. Let's just chat. What, you, what do you want? What you got? Jesus likes them small. <laughs> That's weird. Do the Pikmin thing. I'll do, I'm going to do a Pikmin day for you guys. I'll do a Pikmin day on a different day. I don't want to do it on mainstream time. What shampoo do you use? I use... You know what? That's a good question. I'll pull that up for you guys. I use a shampoo and conditioner. Two separate. Never get, the, never get all in one. Okay, we're not nine anymore. I think it's... Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I... No, what is it? I don't know what it's called. I just always hit reorder. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I got it. Right here. Uh, here we go. Right here, boys. This is what I do. This is what I hit right here. This is it. This is the meat and potatoes right here. See this bad boy? This bad boy gets the job done. I get the shampoo and the conditioner, both L'Oreal L Vive. This is a bad boy right here. This, this takes care of business. 
L'Oreal. All right. Use that too. Cool. We're, we're friends now. You guys hear the vacuum? Listen. One of these days, I'm going to be brave, brave enough to get the maids to come on stream. I mean, now would be a good time. Here, I'll, I'll just say hi to him. Here, you guys can hear me say hi. You ready? Let's see how they greet me. Hello. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Okay. Uh... That was awkward. I also didn't recognize her. I have no clue who that is back here right now. There's like this, um, will there be a cooking segment during the subathon? Of course, there's probably every, everything's on stream, so yeah. I've never My man that. hit them with the tism. Hello? <laughs> I didn't recognize her, so I got him. Oh, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't recognize her, that's why I panicked. It's because we, we hire this maid lady, but she brings like new, it's her business that she's like had a startup and we were one of her first customers. And she brings different people with her every time. I think they're her friends. It's like a whole business they got going here. Cleaners at 9 p.m., that's what I was saying. But you know, it's, it, okay, God, just, what do you want from me? What happened? What do you mean what happened? Subathon when? It's like in a week or two. It's like in two weeks nearly. It's so so soon. I'm really nervous about it actually because you're going to get like this weird... What's happening right now? What you guys are experiencing right now is kind of what the subathon is going to be. Like it's mostly going to be this. Like I'm, done. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to sit here and chill. There's, we're going to do things during it. More, more normal content. We're going to make videos. But I love this shit. I like it too. It's way easier. I'll tell you that it's yeah, this is what this is truly what no content looks like. Will you open cards? Yep. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you something I'm going to be opening. things i think i'm gonna to try to get a hold of some more stuff to open but here's some stuff i'm gonna be opening during the subathon we have a beta booster pack a beta booster pack so that's exciting and during just... a low of the subathon could you play viewfinder sure i mean we're looking for anything to fill time and then i also have um a portal three kingdoms box which i will, i'm excited to open love portal three kingdoms uh if this means nothing to you don't worry it's okay We'll watch. We'll, we'll talk about it on the subathon. Um, <clears throat> yes, sir. You're still here? I don't know why I'm still here. I should just hit end stream. Bruce update. Man, I kind of love with you guys about Bruce. It's, a, it's kind of a sore spot for me at this point. I can't. I, I, I'm, really, I'm really frustrated nobody stole him. <laughs> not literally, not really, but like, you know, maybe a part of me. And, and, and now that, okay. Legally speaking, I'm joking. Neil but Breen maybe, during Subathon? Maybe a small part of me was hoping it would get stolen and I could buy it. You know, but, I, you, know, I, you know, I'm not actually being serious, though. I'm not, I'm not actually being serious. What new tattoo? That you guys saw it already. Look at it. Doesn't it look like glass? Isn't that crazy? Don't look at my armpit, though. You know who taught me about that? Peach. Peach jars. She taught me don't ever give up armpit for free. And God damn it, she was so right. All right. Um, please look at Twitter names. I sent you a funny TikTok. No. How long will the subathon be? Well, we're, we're talking about setting a limit. Obviously, there should always be a limit. But I don't know. Uh, show the sweater you ordered. What? What? When's the subathon? It's like in two weeks or 10 days or something. Any kick update? I, listen. I, I, Not going to lie. I'm cute. What? Here's the kick update I got. Okay. They... they they gave me an offer, and I would argue that working with Kick to an extent, you kind of have to sell your soul a little bit, which I'm totally willing to do for the right price. That price wasn't right. You never want to go to Kick 
And you never want the offer to be you. When, if I'm going to kick, people are going to assume I'm rich now. So if I'm not rich, I'm kind of hurting my career because I feel like the support is going to go down a little bit, even if I go to kick. So if I'm not getting enough money to be rich, but public perception is I'm rich now, then I've kind of blundered. And the offer they gave me, it's just, it, man, it just wasn't enough. I don't know. It's not even close. I don't know. I'm just being super transparent. What's rich? Uh, they couldn't even match what I was like. They couldn't match what I'm making on, on Twitch, which would be more than what I was asking for. If that makes sense. So does that, does that, do you get what I'm saying? They couldn't even match what you guys not do going for- to lie. I'm kind of loving this content right now. You should do this more often. Just chill with the boys. Why are you stuttering, dude? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Not L kick. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think kick most stream deals is like hours streamed. I would be making buku bucks on kick if I stream more hours. I just don't care to. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how people stream nine hours a day. There's no content to do in nine hours a day. I mean, you're gun- there is going to be a point where you're just fucking sitting there. And it's like, well, what are you doing? It's like, well, I'm getting my hours in for my contract. No, fuck that. I've turned down every deal I've ever turned down has been because I have to stream hours. And it's like, it's not laziness. Well, that's part of it. Let's be honest. It's honesty hour. I'm sure to some extent it's laziness. But it's also, why the fuck are you going live without anything? No talking points, no conversations, no content, no nothing. It's just, hey, so I'm good. How you guys doing? Right on, right on. Uh, like it's like, what are you doing? Says you. I mean, no, people love that. And I'm cool with, I like, I'm okay with people who like it. I'm okay with people who consume it. I'm okay with people who do it. I just don't do it. I don't like doing it. I'm not into it. Uh, that's fine. But like, I'm not saying we don't, let's react to Twitter for four hours. Exactly. Like I'll react to Twitter. I'll react to YouTube, but I don't react to YouTube for six hours and then jump to Twitter for four hours and then go to my subreddit for three and then browse. Like, you know what I mean? I really like this stream talk. Thank you. Didn't you talk about Barbie movie uh, for an hour? You can find content for eight hours. Then I have to watch like three Barbie movies, bro. I mean, my content's lazy, but like, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm just, I don't, I don't spread out. I feel like, okay, let me explain it like this. The amount we talk and the amount we get into shit crammed into three to four hours. I could spread that over nine. Everything you just saw today, this could be a nine hour stream. I would slow the pace down dramatically. We would talk longer about certain things. We, every video that comes through, anyone mentions anything, we talk about it, right? But then we watch one 90 day. Let's watch three 90 day episodes. Fuck it. It's like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe try it one day. Scripted and laser, not the same. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that'd be a perfect stream, Wubby. Maybe. Maybe, but the coke would wear off in the first couple hours, and I don't, I can't afford that much of a, of a, an addiction. You know what I'm saying? People are still buying the merch, dude. I'm worried someone's gonna buy the merch, not realizing that it doesn't have any of the designs. <laughs> That's gonna suck for you. All right, um, fine. We'll open a CS case. I feel like it's a, it's a good way to cap off the night. What case do you want me to pl- do? Hey, did you see that man? In the Kali... What? I don't know what you're saying, man. Cobblestone? Why do you guys pick the $1,000 cases, bro? It's not like, well, Wubby, you could afford it. Yeah, but it's a it's a $1,000 one in 1,000 spin to make money. I would rather take $1,000 right now and just put it on black. Black. Wubby looking good, boss. <laughs> this subreddit is so mean. All right, let's see. What what's a I'll open a case that's not you know what I'll open I'll open um weapons cases. I, I can justify those. Those are a hundred bucks a pop, and you can still get stuff good for it, even if it's um even uh, hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have to add funds. $100 finale. That's right. You guys get this. You're welcome. You're all welcome. I can't wait to do magic on the um on the subathon. I have so much new magic stuff that I've been getting and I can't wait to show it because you know why? I can't show it to anyone else because nobody cares. <laughs> Me at a party holding my cup against the wall. 
they don't know that I'm close to finishing my Arabian Nights set. They they don't know I have just soul. They don't know. They don't get me. I don't understand. Dude, you know what I was thinking about today? The fucking seal, the graded video game business. I feel like that shit's in the in the toilet right now. Like people who bought all those graded video games. Any chance I could get the MTG box list to do spreadsheets ready? Yeah, I'll get I'll get you when I know everything I'm doing. I'll get it to you. Um, I feel like and I, I feel like graded video games was always like a a, a a terrible fad. We just didn't realize it at the time, or at least some people didn't. Because like, okay, I mean, it's just so obvious though. I was thinking about it again today, dude. Where it's like. I don't know. Like, I own one graded video game because the game means a lot to me. I own a graded copy of Melee just because I love Melee. But you think about it, it's like it has no, it doesn't have value, right? You buy a graded Black Lotus, you're owning one of like a couple thousand, maybe. But like, how many millions of copies of Melee were made? There were like a few thousand Lotuses made ever, and maybe a handful of them are in good Has enough anyone else noticed rate. that during. Wubby streams, their keys smell weird for some reason. <laughs> I, okay, I'm not doing coke, chat. On top of that, it has gameplay value. True. Uh, do you see the dude in the super realistic dog costume? I don't know what that means, but here we go. If you get gold, give it to me to fulfill a promise when I clutch that one round. Ash, I'm going to ban you if you don't shut the fuck up. Anything but blue! This is so battle scarred. Look at this shit. 0.76. Okay, here we go. Last one. Anything but blue. Anything low float is good, bro. Anything low float is good. Okay, okay. Low float, something. Okay. Ah, uh, not great. Not great, but still... Not bad. Not bad, not great. Not bad, not great. Not bad, not great. Not bad, not great. Minus 214. All right. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Say it back. Don't forget, if you're a filmmaker, even if you're not. Are you going to drink or smoke during the subathon? Because I know it's a no-brainer, but um, you need to continue streaming after you finish. Yeah, I'm going to drink and smoke during the subathon. Thanks for asking. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's tough because everything I do, there's no downtime. Oh, wait, it is a dubathon, though, with Alex. So if I, like, get drunk and I'm like, hey, you need to take over for a while. Maybe I'll go crash. Also, I'm going to be going to the gym uh, during the subathon, but I can't bring you guys. Whatever, bye. Whatever, bye. Whatever, bye. Whatever, bye. Good night, Broccoli Rob. Don't.